welcome to the Prestige Reef Talk Show. Woo! I am. Um, I had no idea that that intro was coming. Basically, so good, isn't it? Just, just to, to, well, I knew you'd done an intro. I didn't know that what what it was. I was actually looking at something else. So I only saw it like the last ten seconds. <laughs> Got me and you dancing. It's great. <laughs> nice, nice. It just gets worse and worse every every week I do this. I've noticed. I know it's good. <laughs> uh so hello everybody i am alex aka reef Dork, and with me as always is ryan aka prestige reef from prestigereef.co.uk the uk's number one coral selling website <laughs> why do you say this because <laughs> it's fun and it's partly true it's not yeah you know, anyway that's, that's <laughs> we'll move on well, that's a matter of opinion <laughs> it but is yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, and the first thing i'm going to say before we even get into it is a uh, comment from james is it not well established that ryan has the best taste that is Reef true. Dog doesn't even know what color his fish are. It was a coral, James. Only a coral. That was true. He didn't know the color. Was, did he? So. Uh, yeah. But, and go on. Before we move on, I actually have something that I've done for you. And you know how we've spoken for the last half an hour. And mm -hmm. if, is there anything different about my screen that you've noticed today? Well, you've had a shave. No, not me. It's uh, my, no, my, my camera's pointed slightly further down than usual. And that's right, because okay. I, I did this for you. I I thought, <laughs> I thought that this was be how I would do the live stream today. So yeah, that's, <laughs> because uh, you, that's something special. That is. <laughs> you know what's, you know what's even more funny? Someone <laughs> turned up at the house today. A client turned up at the house and I had to explain what this was <laughs> because you can see it through the window. It probably going, didn't get oh, much oh, less weird when you explained it, did it? <laughs> oh, no, it didn't. You know what's even worse? Where where are they? There's about, I had to print off like 15 pictures of right. you <laughs> to try and get the right size. So I have loads of them. <laughs> this is, this is, feel, yeah, this is feeling like you're a bit of a psycho and you've got a load of, you just want a load of photos around your bed, Brian. You know, what was weirdly satisfying as I was cutting through your neck on each one, it was quite satisfying. <laughs> so, so maybe I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, wow. Wow. I, I know. I think people in the comments like it. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I bet. It's, I mean, it's weird enough. And for actually, so the <laughs> go on. I wanted to I wanted to to get your genuine reaction for it, which is why I didn't show mm. you earlier. And I'm glad I did because you're speechless. Yeah, genuinely am. I'm staggered. And actually, this so that segues on to the the first thing. So this is now. Come on. You, no, you, I didn't know. I'm waiting for you. Oh, you look like you're on the virtual talk. Uh, so this, so the Reef Talk uh, live stream, the Prestige Reef Show, is now available as a podcast. People have been asking for this for ages, and I finally got around to doing it. So this is now on Spotify, and is will soon be on Google Podcasts, maybe Apple. Uh, I'm not sure about that yet, but it's definitely on Spotify now. Uh, and so the the bad side, the downside of that is that uh, if you're listening to this on the podcast, you'll have no idea what's happening. But it's bloody weird, I'll tell you that. Much. <laughs> that is true. Would you like to describe what I've done for all the people who are listening on the podcast? So Ryan has art behind him, behind his camera, and yeah. uh, that art is. Uh, pencil drawings of naked ladies basically yeah uh, and he has printed off a photo that was in one of my videos of me that i'd uh, uh photoshopped a blonde wig on blonde yep. lady wig on uh and i'm doing like a, a a Derek zoolander blue steel pose and he's put them on both of them not just one <laughs> so yeah. i'm looking at myself i also I also changed weird. them slightly notice how one has long hair and the other one's got shorter hair I thought I didn't I'd, uh... notice that, but yeah, yeah, so it's like two different, yeah. And it would be wow. odd if they looked the same, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, that would be the weird thing, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, God, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I am using I every it. tactic to win this this competition. And as you talk to me about your fish, you're going to be staring at pictures of yourself. So um, it, will, it will make you less of a uh, a good debater. So you're trying to distract me, I see. And the of first course. thing I want to say, Gabe Graham, he's hot. <laughs> Thanks very much. I like Gabe. James's comment. It says, it's woken something inside me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's getting weirder. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, and another one, uh, BN3 Reefy looking hot, Alex. Thanks very much. What's going to be um, even better is in some people obviously won't be part of the stream yet. So they'll just they'll just tune in yeah. and we'll both just be casually ignoring this. It's normally talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Just Alex's I, head with a blonde wig on some naked ladies. I was going to subtly introduce it without you knowing, just to see if you how quickly you would notice if you were talking about something, to yeah, see like if you I'm or the chat notice first. Wow. Well. 
there we go yes well uh yeah i'm glad that you've done that it's, it's yeah <laughs> i don't know what to say but anyway all right well let's let's try to move on and try to, to talk about fish at some point tonight um so first a couple of other things as well so this is now available as a podcast i've also put a few a few additional emojis on for members so uh, members you can have a look at the emojis and that is including a tang police emoji uh, that i've had commissioned uh, which is really good um Will I be able to see them? Because I can't see the emoji. Oh, I can see emojis normally. I couldn't see them last week for some reason. A YouTube member, so you won't be able to see the YouTube member emojis. That's true. If there are any members out there, can you just send all of them so I can see them? <laughs> yeah. Um, or you could sign up to and become a member, Ryan. Oh, that's just true. Click the that's join true. button below. It's one ninety nine a month. It's best two quid you'll spend. Um, and then finally, so also I'm going to be. Um, Normally, I ask uh, on YouTube for questions, member questions, of course, which will continue. But I'm going to be asking you on Instagram questions uh, from next week for the live stream. So if you follow me on Instagram at Reef Talk, you'll be able to post questions that I will ask, uh, I will answer, Ryan and I will answer here. And um, the first one, actually, we have, so we don't have any uh, Instagram questions because I didn't ask this time around, but we do have member questions. Okay. Only this time, I've got someone to read them out for me. Okay, so we've, got, we've got two. Actually, there was one from Steen Pompen, but you posted it in the chat about four days ago, and YouTube deleted it before I could get there, so I missed it. So if you're here, tell me what it is, and I'll answer it. But here we go. So first one is from Push Button Reef. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. What up, Reef Dork? What up, Prestige? Are Moorish idols as hard to keep as people say? What up, Reef Dork? What up? Pre there we go. What up? What up, Prestige? So you you've hired Alexa basically to yeah. um or budget Alexa. Budget Alexa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> are they as hard to keep as people say they are? Yes, is the honest answer. Um, <laughs> Moorish Idols are one of those fish where I'm just not sure what tank they belong in because they usually do better. Well, they'll do, they'll do okay in a reef tank because of all the corals they can eat. <laughs> um, they don't all eat corals, but a lot of them do. But uh, Moorish Idols are not an easy fish. So they are just as bad as people say they are. I think people yeah. have better success rates with things like copper bands than they do have Moorish idols. Yeah, they're, they're, they're quite big. There was a reef, uh, what are they call bulk, bulk Reef Supply did a video recently where they talked about there's the, there's the fish guy they have. I can't remember his name, yeah. but he's really good. And he um, he was talking about the diet. And basically, they figured out the diet. I think it was more protein. Or I can't remember what it was, but the, apparently, they're actually not that hard to get feeding. It's just yeah. that they don't eat the normal stuff that you buy yes, in the shops. Yeah, yeah. So, so, and that's why they're hard because you're feeding them the wrong stuff. But yeah, they they are they are notoriously difficult. Um, so there we go. Next question as well. Second question, and this is from ML Rubber. Ready for this? Budget Alexa. Let's go. All right, lads. If you had to pick four right. fish for a fluvalibo, what would you pick and why? All right, lads. All right, lads. <laughs> yeah, I know. The <laughs> four fish. Four fish. Right. Four fish. For a fluvalibo. So this is a fifty liter. I'd go for a white rapid. white tiger goby because I just like I like white tiger gobies. Okay, because you don't want to uh, see a fish. I would go for well, like everyone goes for clownfish. If you if you haven't got a clownfish in your tank, it's pretty pretty unusual. They're like they yeah they're good bang for their buck. They're not that expensive. They're quite active and interesting. They bite you when um when you these uh, ones bite me every time, bastards. <laughs> yeah, so that that's that's interesting. <laughs> Uh, and then I'd go some sort of blending. It's probably your choice, what, which one? But I don't. Want to, yeah. I don't want to reveal some yeah. of the fish I've got for later. So well, you're, this is true. You're just trying to get them, aren't you? You're trying to. You're trying to get my ideas. I, I take. I, I'm astonished that you're trying to accuse me of cheating, Ryan. Uh, I'm, just um, to, I'm not very good at the nano fish because I've never really had them. Well, I can answer the question because I have three fish in that tank. I have two clownfish, yeah. a wheeler's goby, so a shrimp goby. And that's it. I wouldn't have four personally. If you, if I did have a fourth, maybe a yellow, um, what's the clown goby, a yellow clown goby yeah. or something tiny. But four, I think four is pushing it for that tank personally. I can't see the custom emojis I've just seen. They no, it's because you're not a uh, dog tank police. Yeah, it's because you're not a, um, uh, a Reef Talk member. Obviously not. There you go. But anyway, right. So this uh, today we are talking about uh, mine and yours tasting fish who has the best tasting fish and we're not talking restaurant uh, who wants to eat cod and who likes haddock or whatever yeah. this is who has the best taste so the, the idea is that we've i've drawn up 10 categories 
clownfish, rasses, gobies, blennies, etc., etc., etc. And we've each chosen two. We've we've chosen a like a main one that we like the most. Yeah. And then there's a backup just in case it's the same. But we've each chosen a fish from each of these ten categories. And the idea is uh, we'll we'll say what they are, we'll pitch for them and why they're so good, and then we'll put it to a vote and a poll and see what um, and see what people think are the best in terms of the guidance, like the rules on what we are, the, like the the um, what's the word I'm looking for, like what we have to base our decisions on the criteria. There's no criteria, so it's it, it you don't have to be. I've chosen fish on this list that I think are awesome, but I wouldn't have in my tank. So I'm and not I'll, like the one I would want. It's like just what, whatever you think is the best, regardless yeah. of anything. I've also I've see I've chosen some fish which are uh, like cheap fish, just normal fish, and I've chosen some fish which are very expensive as well. So I didn't want to just go, oh yeah, let's let's pick this expensive fish because everyone will go, oh, and then I'll win. <laughs> These are fish that I actually quite like, and I would and I would get personally if I could so afford I actually, them. Yeah, well, that was the one thing I thought about for for dwarf angel, which was a category we'll come on to. Yeah. I did think, oh, should I go peppermint angel because it's like a fifty grand fish? But I didn't, yeah. I, and they are cool. But I, I thought that was I felt that was cheating. So I'm glad yeah. we're on the same page. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> watch it as I wipe you with wipe the floor with you. All my ten k well, fish. <laughs> this is the problem: is that I have a terrible, terrible track record yeah. of uh, of polls, and it turns out I think we already know the answer to this question. Well, so if, I, is, if, I, if I win one out of these 10 categories, I'm happy. The stakes have never been higher because genuinely both of us, for the first time, kind of, actually care that we win this, I think. Is that right? Yeah. You're yeah, going to yeah, say no. Sure. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm a very competitive person. I'm going to act like I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Yeah. But I am a very competitive person. So, Well, shall we start? And Yeah, well, well why not? Okay, so we're going to kick off then. Uh, the first one is uh, an open category. So most of these are... A specific type, so ras, goby, whatever. But this is open category, so you can choose whatever fish you want. Okay, okay. So, and the, so and the idea of this them. was, you go first. The, the idea of this was that there are so many fish that are uh, that you can't have a, a sole category for, and I didn't want to miss out. So you go first. What have you got? I'm going to go for a box fish, because oh, I thought you go for a box fish. Brilliant, right? Oh, box fish are they have great character. They are mostly reef safe. They do get big, although you never they never get really seem to get big in captivity. I've never seen a big one in captivity. And <clears throat> they're just one of those fish that when if, if it's in your tank, people will go, Wow, what is that? That is odd. Yeah. So that's why I've gone for a box fish. So I'm assuming I get a so, picture um, up of a box fish. Uh yeah, let me uh, I'm just I'm just bringing up the screen. So because actually the, in terms of size, uh they uh the support supposedly they can get to a foot big, right? <laughs> Yeah, but you don't really get them that like you never see them in in the industry that big. And um, the only problem with them is as they get bigger. And no, I'm not going to tell you this. I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, th they, there we go. They lose this their is color now. basically slightly. Yeah, loads of fish do. It's frustrating, isn't it? But this is so. This was taken from my visit to TMC, and yeah. it was like, and they're baby little ones as well. And that was that really caught my eye. I love them. They are very cool. And I, do you know what? I, so I thought you might go for them. And I'm glad you did. And th this is, I take it, is that fish, the yellow box fish? It is the yellow box fish. Although they do, the Hawaiian box fish, the blue, which is the male, oh, yeah. is, is just as nice. The females are black and white, not as, not as, not as pretty. Okay, well, fair enough. So I'm glad that you went for that because my choice is uh, very similar. I think it's a good one uh, to go up against. And my choice is a Toby Puffer. Valentini puffer saddle. Oh, this is this is an easy win for me. It pro probably is, but that is so. This when I was when I first started up um, the, my first ever tank, I dropped this wish list of fish that I wanted, yeah. and it was all fish that it turned out. The only one that that I can remember being on there that I still got is a, a, a scarlet hawkfish, but it yeah. was things like um, six line wrasse, a load of fish that and the, the puffer fish, a load of fish that are just totally inappropriate. But man, they're just so cool, these guys. They're absolutely awesome. And it could have been any of them, these little blue spotted one, whatever. Yeah, it's like if you were going to go for one of them, that's the one you would go for. You wouldn't go for the black and white one you showed. There's the oh, dual this guy. Yeah, the, the dual, dual puffers, puffers are way nicer. They're pretty cool. But basically, any of these little Toby puffers, they're just so cool. Have you ever you've seen well, obviously you've seen them in the shops? I've had just, I've had a dual puffer. It ate coral. <laughs> yeah, that's a trouble. But they're just they're just so awesome. 
and that just they they little scoot around with their tiny little side fins like going do similar to to blocks of fish very similar they must be in the same genus or whatever um so wow. so apart from so ready what, what else is it? White I'll tell you what yeah we, I was going to say we'll we'll go into um we'll go into a bit of detail but let's let's just kick straight in because there's not much more to say they're just they're just cool looking they both I you, so you said your box fish was was reef safe right yeah yeah completely didn't ever touch anything that was that was one of, that was probably the saddest fish I lost I think I had it for seven or eight years I had it for a long time um and it's, it's the reason it was it was not sad in terms of crying but sad in terms of like i can't really replace it but you know how sometimes you have a fish which is like odd compared to the rest of its species doesn't eat coral yeah. doesn't die <laughs> it's just it's like one of a kind that was what mm. pablo was you so, thought about uh, about getting one didn't you i i actually another did get one. another one mm. and i went away and i came back a week later and it was gone just disappeared never saw a body or anything so, i know they are. They do have a uh, a reputation for being able to wipe out your whole tank. I have yet to yeah. see that happen. So people I think say that about things like sea hairs. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say. I wonder if that's a myth. Yeah. Um, I feel like they probably. It's probably. It's it's theoretically possible in the same way that a zoa can kill you. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like it can yeah, do, yeah. but it's, it's not. It's not going <laughs> to. But okay. not, well, not we less have a, <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, there is no video of, of the puff, by the way, Tom. Uh, my Valentini is such a carry. Shoots water at my hand when hand feeding. Oh, God. I'd love one. This is a good question, actually. Dino's or chop your arm off? <laughs> Have you ever uh, had Dino flagellates? Not really. I've been pretty lucky, no. I think, with all my, all the cycles I've had. Uh, you, you get, like, diatoms and a little bit. It's, everyone gets to go through an ugly stage. I mean, you're personally still going through that stage, aren't you? So, uh, what well, me, me personally, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although, the, the pretty blonde Alex, this, this is the best I've seen you look actually, to be honest. I'm not sure which I prefer. I think it might, I think it might yeah, be yeah. this one. <laughs> <laughs> I should superimpose that, uh, the hair over my head permanently. So. Yeah, it's true. Uh, but there we go. Well, so we're and uh oh, we've got Jason Laraman in the chat. You know who that is, don't you? That's the oh, that's the uh, that's the whale shark guy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. He is not currently talking about whale sharks, oh, but no. this is only a matter of time. And I might have missed a comment when he talks about whale sharks. Um, all right, so we have fifty votes so far, and I'm going to end that because it's going your way and it's not going to change. Sixty-five percent say yellow box fish is uh, he's, better. He's than... out the gate. Early win. Early win. Yeah, this is very disappointing. But there we go. But that's I, I'm not surprised. Actually, the other the other fish that I had on my list. What else did I have on there? uh here we go um my other one was a mandarin dragon it yeah yeah I, I, actually you probably could have won with that i think i, I probably could have done but i think the toby yeah. i think that, uh, the toby is a cooler fish for me i prefer it and this is the thing there, there was there were a few times when i thought that would probably be more popular but i'm going to go with the one i'm going to be honest <laughs> yeah yeah well i'm surprised because the mandarin <laughs> would have probably beaten it and i actually think it's Roughly the same. Oh, they, they don't have a mandarins don't have any character. They just sort of like. Oh, they do. They scoot no. around in the. Oh, they do. Have you no. ever seen them mating, doing the mating dance? Two of them. I don't watch fish porn, okay, like you do, you bloody pervert. It's not so, what you told me earlier, but yeah. Actually, my <laughs> Chromis was spawning today. Oh, really? Like they, Chromis, cool. Yeah. So my mandarin was moving along the tank, and all of a sudden, I think five or six of the Chromis, all they literally surrounded it like up against it in front of it and behind it and like almost moved it away and two of them were spawning i wish i, I could have filmed it because it, i was with a client at the time and it just it just happened for like five seconds and then stopped but it was um they they literally it was like police cars like trapping a, a little fish and moving it away uh, so you, if you believe that or not it's up to you but i know what i saw <laughs> yeah yeah no no i do yeah it's it's cool that you the, when yeah when fish are breeding uh, yeah, there's, there's, yeah. There's Red this. scooter blending do, is actually stuff. what I would have gone as my second choice. If you, if, if we had gone for the same thing, I would have gone for a red scooter blenny. Okay, so I had, um, yeah, that, I, that was basically the same thing. Uh, but, uh, but they, I yeah, think yeah. they do have character. I had, I had two of the. I don't know. There's a few that look similar. Actually, the red scooter blenny looks slightly different to the scarlet dragonette that I had. Do you know? Yeah. Because the, there are That's two the that are slightly one, different, yeah. aren't they? There's a, like a pink one. And there's one with red with like a yellow fin. The red and yellow is the one I had. So I had two of them. Yeah, and they yeah. mated. They do this mating dance where they like float up together like this to the top of the yeah. water and then shoot back down. 
Um, but my female got egg bound, so she got stuck, a load of eggs stuck in her, and she died. And then the male died like a month later. I'd had them for ages, like a year and a half. But... Yeah, it's a shame. Um, but there we go. Anyway, anyway, on that, so, right, on we... that cheery note. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. But we've got one in the bank, and uh, you have won the first one. Don't you worry, I'm so... keeping score. Oh, well, I'm keeping score as well. I, I'll I've got a little tally and everything. Anyway. So you're you're keeping. I'm che uh, keeping score because I think it's, I'm keeping score because I think I'll win. You're keeping score, uh, but so you don't, so I don't cheat. <laughs> For, yeah, this is true. <laughs> For the record, um, and firstly, so Steve Webb says uh, you could have had mimic filefish. So I don't. The mimic filefish was another fish that I considered when I was starting the hobby, but there's no point of a mimic filefish because they do look similar, but you can tell they're they're different and they're not as cool. And yeah. they're no more reef safe. They'll still eat your corals. So well, I don't. I, I I get that uh, that um, nature isn't trying to please reef keepers, but I don't see the point of a, a mimic filefish. <laughs> there you go. So cool though they right. are. Are we go? I don't know. I don't know what order we're doing the topics in, but I'm ready for round two. No, I know. I shuffled it around. I don't know if I am anymore. But uh, here we go. We'll crack on. So, ras. Oh, show me your ras. Okay. Do you want to go first this time? I went first last time. I'll go first. So I they're just there's so many. I, I might I, not I was, know what this is because I don't know. You'll know. So all right. Well, I'll, I'll show you a picture in that case. It's a yellow tail tamarind ras. Oh, I'm going to win this one. <laughs> look at that. I mean, look at the eye spots on the tail. Look at that. So he's going to evade like predators. To, if you like black slightly, spots. If you wait thirty seconds, you're going to see almost exactly the same fish, but much cooler. <laughs> Um, interesting. But so there, there are loads of choices on this. If, if, if you pick Melanaris Rass, I'm going to be so pissed off. <laughs> I did not pick Melanaris Rass. Melanaris Rass was actually my second choice, just in case we happened to pick the same one. When you said earlier that you went to a shop and you saw the mm. fish you wanted to have for this round, and this was what you picked. Correct. I, I'll tell what? you what I had later uh, as my first choice, but this was, okay. I, I had a different fish down then. I saw this, I was like, oh, of course, because I used to have one of these. But I got it off another hobby, so it was settled and eating, but it died. Yeah. It just went skinny and died. But they're just so stunning. And you don't get many fish like that. And don't, okay. don't well, say gem tang. <laughs> do you want to see a fish which is better? Actually, they do look, they almost are identical to gem tangs, aren't they? They're, they're they the are, same well, coloration. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, All right. I went for a, is it femin, feminist? Femininous. Femininous, Ress. Femininous. So, this is a fish which I, right. I actually like this. I wouldn't buy it. Because I think they're very expensive. I'm sure they're like hundreds of pounds. Yeah, but they're just, forgot they're just... <laughs> <laughs> so, so wait for your wait for the cooler fish now. You know, you know the black one that he just showed you. Yeah, I how you pick be. like you pick like a bit of that's a, shit a fish good fish. photo. No, no, no. Let me that's a good photo, I promise you. Is it? Yeah. Go away. So... No, I tell you, you know, right. <laughs> uh let's find it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Live aquaria. Who doesn't yeah, like live go. aquaria? So... Um, now but that first, so for... is much better than than the, the last one. That's a cool fish, uh, and th these are both anapsis rasses, so they're extremely yeah. difficult to to keep. I would have one of these. The price wouldn't necessarily put me off. How much? It are would. They? I think they're like they're several hundred pounds. It would be the most expensive fish I've ever bought by a mile, but I think they're about no. seven eight hundred quid. No. But I, I could. Oh my yeah, God. I could just about swallow that if. I thought if I, it, yeah, but the trouble is they it'll die. So I wouldn't ask if I, and if I'm spending 50 quid, I don't mind the risk. Obviously there's more to it. And the, the animal welfare is the main thing, Yeah, but I'm not spending a grand and on the risk of it, no. like a toss of toss of a coin. <laughs> See, I, I will spend big money on a fish. I know will survive. So obviously I, I have a gem tang. I'm not sure what angel fish I'm going to go for. Just so everyone knows there has been progression in the angel fish tank um so Ooh, yes. that is now definitely coming uh i have a six foot water box coming which will have a large angel fish in it so um and i, I might go for an expensive one possibly but um i so i obviously gem tanks used to my first gem tank cost 900 pounds i think or 950 um but i but i've still got it so you, you see what i mean it's like i if it's a fish I know I can keep alive, fine. If it's a fish that, will, that could possibly jump out if you leave the lid off once, <laughs> I'd I rather, happen to know you. Yeah, I happen to know you got that for free. No, I I traded that with so, someone bought coral from me, and then they bought that for me. 
Yeah, well, the, the thumbnail said I got oh, this fish that's for free. That's true. That you is know, true. So you, know, you, know, you know these YouTubers? They're a bit like they're a bit shifty with their food. I think I learned it from you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but a gem, gem tank's a cool fish. But uh, and yeah, I, I agree. I think, uh, and that's the thing. If like when I say I'd spend eight hundred quid on a femininus ras, yeah. I would do if it if it meant I just sold four hundred quid worth of fags. I, I wouldn't like just go down and say, yes, you know what? I'm not going to pay my mortgage this month. I'm going to yeah. buy a fish instead, but it's the same. And like, you'd find a way, wouldn't you? I'd sell, I'd sell one of my 35 lights I've got or something like that. Yeah, like yeah. Obviously very dear to me. It's yes. close, Ryan. 55, oh, 45. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, How is that is even remotely same. close? Lenardi are much more hardy. Lenardi are another one that are, um, they're, they're quite expensive. Interesting that they're more hardy, but they, they're, they're cool. But the thing with them is they get big. Yeah. Like, what, what I um, have, have you seen those in real life? Yeah, uh, uh, Ab Abbas has got one. I've seen his tank. Oh, okay. He's, he's an yeah, they are. They are. They are nice. <laughs> they are nice fish. I did consider a Lenardi, but uh, as but I went, obviously, I just thought the, the the orange and blue I preferred. Um, what was your second choice? Uh, my second choice, uh, the originally, oh well, actually, <laughs> I've cheated. So my second choice was a Harlequin tusk fish, nah. and that is a ras bizarrely yeah. and and that, uh, but i and i had this is the thing that this is like with the criteria uh i would never have a harlequin tusk fish because i had one and yeah it, it's you know it's actually no maybe i would maybe i would but they're they're he was vicious <laughs> do you know what it so was I, interesting if you had put that one up uh, the harlequin tusk against mine i would have voted for you actually i know it just went there but oh, really? but i would have yeah i think a harlequin tusk is cooler than that fish they're just, they're just so the Harlequin Tusk. In fact, I'll bring it. I, I went to, when it's I went their to blue Abyss, teeth, I like, yeah. I like someone's just comment say, I heard Ryan selling Alex's only fans images to fund his expensive fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is, this was when I went to Abyss, this was the, um, the tusk fish they had. Um, he looks like he's got some, yeah, he, but he, they're just so cool. And that was, that was a, I, I had to, I had to try it and it was, but it, just, it didn't work out, but they are, they are very cool. But actually, so that was my second choice, but actually the fish that I, I had as number one until today yeah. was the a yellow ass. Oh, you definitely weren't going to win with that. <laughs> but they're just so bright. They get, actually mine's no. faded as it got older, but when you go into the shop, yeah. it's like this fluorescent yellow ass. You're like, what is that? I want it. They're, e they're peaceful. They're reef safe. They're really active. They, they, uh, they're interesting because they go around sniffing around food Cheap. all day long. Cheap. <laughs> That's the main thing. They're cheap, yeah, yeah, cheap. That's, that's uh, I was... why I, would, I considered going for a Melanaris because they're nicely coloured for me. If you can see colours, they're nicely coloured. Um, mm. The general population from the number of polls we've done suggests that other people like them too. But um, I thought yeah, I'd go for something a bit more wild for for the RAS category. Indeed, we had to go a bit. Oh, it's fifty one percent, forty nine percent at the moment. Wait, I'm going to leave know, that. Is it fifty one me? At the moment, <laughs> I'm going to leave that till it gets to 90 votes. We're at 77, so yeah. 90 votes. How is it even close? One of them is black and white, and one of them's like bright blue and orange. That is, ah, uh, that's that's close. I, I I would vote for yours, but that is close, and 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 I don't regret going for mine because I would love a yellowtail tamarind, Ooh. and I'm tempted at some point I'll I'll get one. And in fact, I actually I had I found a jawfish. I've got, I had a jawfish, yeah, and it had jumped out of the tank and landed on the top of the weir box. So obviously, I've got a cover, so it couldn't get out. Yeah, yeah. But it landed on the top of the weir box. That's like that's one of those things where it's like so unlikely to happen. I, I do you know, but the thing is, I thought about it, and I thought, should I take the weir box off, uh, and just so then if it get if it, if a fish does jump in there. Yeah. At least it, it's got water. And I just thought, nah, it's never going to happen. That is genuine. I used to find there was in my thousand lead tank. I, I had a flame angel in there once in my, in my weir box. I had a clownfish in there. So, and I had loads of wrasse and stuff. And so they definitely do jump in there. And I think about, it, I've heard other people with the same story. So maybe I will, um, I'll change it actually. I like how so... someone's written, I voted Tamron by accident. <laughs> Well, that's fine. I'll, I'll take any accidental votes. We've got one more vote to get to, to 90. So there we go. 90. End poll. Or, or what does it say? 51%. <laughs> is it really? Oh, I'm getting quite emotional. I've won a poll. Guys. How is that even? I was I thought this was hands oh, down that I was going to win this one. I actually... No, whoa, whoa, whoa. One of those votes was by accident. <laughs> I don't care, Ryan. I got... <laughs> uh, you got 48%. 
Yeah, oh, yeah. Man. Yes. Oh, oh, I won a poll. This is literally like the first time I've ever won. A... I even lost Margot Robbie against a bloody. One second. Mel I'm Nara's now texting <laughs> all of my friends. All so so basically me. only your oh, friends going to go right, off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To get them yeah. to come join me. Oh. Oh God, I'm so chuffed with that. <laughs> I'm weirdly, weirdly pleased about that. Um, all right, isn't so we've won all. Isn't that nice that you know they they allowed you to have one? I know exactly. A sympathy, pity food, uh, a pity vote. But I'll, I'll take I'll take pity. That's fine. For all I know, you all could right. be lying, and I because I I don't see the vote, so I have no idea. <laughs> oh well, I've I've posted it in the chat, so I, I promise you, I'm not lying. Although, okay, that's a good idea actually. If now I know that I, I can just lie. I'm all right with that. Um, uh, and okay, right. So, uh, where we go? I'm inclined to vote for Alex due to those pictures in Ryan's background. Basically, people are finding you more attractive all of a sudden. I mean, maybe I should grow my hair out like that. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I might, I think I might struggle. Um, okay. So, next, cat I think someone suggested we should have had a, a beginner fish category, which is not a bad shout, actually. Uh, but anyway, the next category is fancy clownfish. Now, I did think originally about just doing this as clownfish because peculiar clown is standard versus normal versus like the fancy ones. But I just yeah. thought, you know what? Uh, let's go into let's go full on fancy clownfish. So there's, there, there are loads of designer clownfish. Yeah, I'm actually I'm one of those people who who's like, oh, yeah, actually, I prefer uh, natural clownfish, peculiar clownfish. And the designer are just they're an abomination. But then I have the two pairs of clowns I have yeah. designers because the times yeah. I've got into buy peculiar clowns. I've seen these clowns and I'm like, oh, they're cool. <laughs> so you're not so you're not so, really one of those people then. You're you're one of those pretend people. You're exactly. like one of those I vegan activists that then goes home and eats yeah. a burger. Exactly. Yeah. Just go out and get all the self-righteous joy and then yeah. come back and be like, yeah, mm, steak. <laughs> mm. Um, but all right, so I went first last time. So what's your choice? Uh I have gone for an A grade Picasso clownfish. Now Picasso. clownfish are graded differently. Um, you get, I think you get A and B grade Picassos. I, the, there is, it, it's, I think it's, if the line is joining, it's an A grade, I think. Okay. So this is going to be interesting. So is this a Picasso clownfish? That wasn't what I was looking for. Go back to. That's what Kraken think is a, a clownfish. Uh, a Picasso. Which one? Uh, so that one there. That's that. that yeah. One. Yeah, with the thick black. Oh yeah, double A grade. Oh, I'm afraid oh. this is a double A grade. So when you're voting, you need to remember that this is a double A <laughs> grade, and this is not the one Ryan chose. So this is better than the one Ryan. That's chose. the one I it? meant. It's where I think the A grade is when it has a the the middle line and the back and the back line are connected with a white band. Is what makes it. Middle and if they're not connected, it's a B grade. Oh. These are oh, interesting. God, you, you're a proper designer clown buff. I actually think what I actually might like the B grade better. <laughs> oh, really? That's funny. Uh, okay, so that's that's your uh, your clownfish. We'll uh, we'll move this away because uh, I think that the, the, I think mine actually look extremely similar to yours. Very, very similar. That was the problem with doing this category because I was, I was like, what is what? Oh, actually. I've just found the fish which I thought I was talking about. Uh, what, which is okay, a Da Vinci. Anyway, usually you yours. That's hilarious because mine is a Da Vinci. <laughs> it's the, it's da the Vinci one where is... there's like those big like white blotches on them. That's what I'm like. So. Okay. Well, do you know? So the, the annoying thing is I actually can't find uh, a, 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 a. So I have Da Vinci clownfish. And I can't find a, a picture of a Da Vinci clownfish that looks the way I want it. So what type I'm, in I'm B gonna... grade designer clownfish, and this is the second picture. Well, this is so instead, this is these are my Da Vinci clownfish. That was um, the one I wanted. <laughs> I was it. That's so yeah, funny. That's what I thought yeah. it was. Okay, well, I, either way, and this is this is that's Mr. Clownfish, by the way. And Mrs. Clownfish is the big heifer just out of shot in, at, at the moment. But these were uh I looked at all of the clownfish, obviously, when I uh, when I got these, and these were these were my favourite of all of them. Yeah, um, they're just they're just so cool, but they look very similar to the Picasso. Yeah, very very similar. Um, it's hard, it's hard right. to actually decide between them if you see what I mean, because even there's even different variations. <laughs> like, you made me pick. <laughs> that looked really good then. Um, there's even there's different variations, even with the specific like types of clown, isn't it? Uh, and that, so when I googled Da Vinci clownfish, none of them looked as nice as that as those. Yeah. If I do say so myself. Ooh. 
Uh, and that's the thing they're they're because it's it's not like you it's not like they're painted so you can repeat it they're bred so they're all going to look slightly different should we do should we change this rather because they were so similar should we change it so that it's now any clownfish and you've got like 10 seconds to think of one no no <laughs> although i if do like got... the pink pink skunk clownfish that was what i was going to go for <laughs> that's hilarious all right well i'll tell you what, i'm going to post the poll anyway and they i think they're very similar but yeah, uh, but so gold I've gone banded for... maroons as well are the other ones that uh, uh, I quite like. Gold banded maroons, gold banded maroon clownfish, gold maroon. They're just maroon clownfish, clownfish with yellow bands. Oh, I don't. Oh, really? I just, I would have won this this hands down if you'd have gone for them. Look at that. Uh, that's not how they usually look. That's like a big adult one. Normally, when you see you see the little tiny baby ones, don't you? Oh, like that? No, no. That's that's a gold nugget maroon. <laughs> I don't know. I do you know what I thought I was, I was a bit more. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I don't know. The, 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 any clown like uh, the maroon clowns, the tomato clowns, even Clarkies, they're feisty, aren't they? Yeah. Like if, because I get bit, my, the other clowns that I would have had were, were Picassos, which are these guys. Um, oh, hang on. Did you go Picasso? Yeah. Yeah, you did. I think they're Picasso. No, no, no. Snowflake. Sorry, Snowflake. And I really like Snowflakes. But it, these guys are, are feisty. They bite me every time oh. I put my hand in. And my Da Vinci's don't, even though they they breed all the time and there's always eggs there. Yeah. But they don't bite me. Whereas these guys, the second I go in, the little ones over, like nibbling at my fingers. And they always go for, they always, I genuinely swear he goes for the webbing. For, yes. Yeah. He I knows. <laughs> and they're, they're so tiny that it doesn't hurt at the moment. I've, I've heard, I've seen people post photos of clownfish drawing blood. These don't do that at the moment, but they go for the webbing on your fingers, between your yeah. fingers. Absolute bastards. I feel like um, I've had been robbed on this one. Because I know you're. Well, it was your one. choice. I know, it's, but I'm, I'm I, I got confused. I picked the wrong you one. You got confused. Oh, well, you know, didn't do enough preparation. No, you're right. Uh, I didn't. You know me. I don't. I, I don't do homework, do I? No. I also the other. What was your second choice on this before I end the vote? The poll. Black ice. Because I've got a black ice. Ah, black. Uh, is that the same as black storm? No, black ice is one no. of the original forms from. I've must Ancient. have had it for ten years. My clownfish. Okay. I got some really old fish. I've realised. Oh yeah. Okay. So I haven't. I've I've I've, ch I've changed fish. So I've I've ended the poll by the way, and uh, I won. I know. I I, I imagine. <laughs> uh, and so I'm going to post that in the chat. It's good uh, to know that you won with the fish that I wanted to win with. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> but yeah. So the yeah. Okay. So the yeah. Anyway, there, there, there are loads, and there. I think some of them look ridiculous. Have you ever seen the, the ones they've got long fins like flowing? They look like they're torn. The original long fins were terrible. That where yeah. they they were like it was like a piece of stiff cardboard, wasn't it? The fin. It was it looked actually, like it had been attacked. <laughs> they've made new long fin clownfish where their fins flow like a like a long fin koi. So they have been able to do that. But I've not, I've not seen, I've just, I've only, I think I've seen them once at Machner or something. But before they yeah. looked like an abomination, didn't they? Like I had a fight with a blender. Exactly. And so this is, uh, actually, this isn't too bad because some, some of them, they looked like shredded, but these, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the, what that's the one I took. But I think that even, even if, even if they don't look like they've been through a blender, I don't like that. And I, it's like, it's hypocritical to say it's okay to do one thing with clownfish. It's not okay to do another. Yeah, but that true. to me, that what I look at that and I think that actually the color the color difference doesn't matter. Changing its fins so it's less effective at swimming harms yeah. the animal. Yeah, is, is I, my, I see is, what you mean. My, and it looks so I don't know. I just, I don't like them. I don't like them. Uh, but anyway, and we've got a lot of love for Darwin clownfish, although apparently they're hyper aggressive. I don't know what Darwin is. Uh, are they the black ones? You don't need to Google it. I'll Google it. I think I think they're 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 big black clownfish. Okay. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, I'm not so keen. I sometimes sometimes people mix like a black clownfish with a normal clownfish, or mix two different types of fancy clownfish. I don't like that. It looks weird. I like it when they're like a matching pair. I like symmetry, right? Is what I'm saying. Have you seen that? There was a gold clownfish. No. This is I worth like showing. <laughs> so let me let me just I'll see how long it takes to Google it. Uh... Let me see if it comes up straight away. It does. Get up the gold clownfish. There's only ever been one of them. It was a wild caught one as well. They just really? haven't find this one. 
you, like gold clown. I know it's so weird, isn't it? That that's what I should have gone for. If I'd gone for that, I'd have won. <laughs> I think I've seen that before, actually. In Reef Builders, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I must have done. Um, never showed up that doesn't even doesn't even look like a clownfish. It looks like a koi cup, me. like a mini koi cup. I don't know what it looks like to me, but that's really weird. I do like the naked clowns, actually. That, that's a, an overexposed photo. No. The naked clowns I've seen are like these guys. I think they're quite cool. Oh, like them. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. You just Firstly, do don't talk <laughs> about a fish which has naked in its name and go, oh, yeah, look at that. I know. I'm going to get oh, uh, oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need five minutes, guys. So, um, All right. So. We've done that. I'm two one up. I just won two polls. I know. I'm I like, I, we thought this was a, I reckon you're going for like the sympathy vote. This earlier, you're like this. Oh, I never win one. And now all of a sudden you're winning. Please love me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there we go. Uh, so this is, uh, but this is the great thing about this is you were really smug coming into this going, oh yeah, I'm going to win it. This is I was easy. Pretty, I was pretty confident that, well, only yeah. because I've won every <laughs> other one. If I lose this one, you know, everyone know. loses sometimes. <laughs> all right. Well, We'll move on to the next category then, which is gobies. Everybody loves gobies, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, so I first. think it's oh, it's me turn first. Okay. So this is this was I found this one a little bit difficult actually because there were loads of gobes, um, and I decided to go with a goby that I have had, uh, and I can't find the uh, the video of it, which is annoying. Uh, and I've gone for a yasha goby. Someone someone said yes, goldfish. <laughs> Are you going for Goldfish. a Yasha Gobi? Yeah. Oh. These guys. <laughs> and that's oh. one of the one of the great things about these, for a start, that's a cool looking fish. And obviously yeah. it goes with a pistol shrimp. Load Google. I can lose obviously... this one as well. <laughs> okay. Well, obviously it goes with a pistol shrimp, but you can get a pair of these and they uh, you can keep a pair with a pistol shrimp. Now, unfortunately, mine died, so I was gutted at that. Um, but it was, they're, they're... do you know what the difference yeah, is cool. between that and um uh, do you know what the difference between the male and females are? Uh, no, fin difference maybe. No, the male. One of them has a black spot underneath it, a very very subtle like grey patch underneath. Uh, okay. It. And that's that's the difference between them. Interesting. But no, I didn't know that. But that, that's cool. So you can you can sex them. So there you go. You can you can sex them. There's that's a, that's just just a cool fish, and they're very small, so they're they're suitable for nano tanks. All right. So. What have you got that's going to be a Yashigobi? Uh, I, 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 this could be a close one. It's a flaming prawn goby. Ooh, yeah, that's, they actually look pretty similar. Though. That's what I was thinking, and then I just thought, no, I'm oh, not sure. Oh, I've won this. I've won this. Come on. Yeah, I know these. Yeah. Look how confident, uh, look how smug he is that he's won this. Uh, stop trying to pull at the heartstrings. No, not that, that one. I don't want that picture. Move along. Move along. This no. one. No, go, go right. This right, one? right, right. All oh, right. As, yeah, keep going right. I saw the one I wanted a minute ago. This one kind of disappeared. I don't know. Any will do. Just any will do. But this, this is that'll do. <sighs> that looks cool. The, the, these are tiny as well, aren't they? Smaller than the ashes, even. I almost went for a, a, a white capped goby. Have you seen those before? Yes, little black. I quite like white capped gobies. They're, but they're an acquired taste. They're. They're like the small. I would respectfully baby. suggest these are a, a required and an acquired taste as well. Really? Yeah, that I think they're cool, but they're just I've got there's a bit too much going on for me. Oh, oh, you like it? You like um, it simple, do you? You don't. I do you like don't find this simple. fish as sexy as the last. You know what was it you said was sexy? Some sort of clownfish or something? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, naked, naked. Oh clown. yeah, yeah. Um, but there are loads. So let's let's do a poll then. Let's start a poll. Oh, I'm starting a Q and A. Don't start like Q and A. I've lost cold. confidence now. You know, you've knocked my confidence. I'm not sure I can come back. Oh, he's trying to pull at your heart. Don't fall for it, guys. <laughs> do not fall for it. Uh, which do you prefer, Yasha Gobi, or what was it called, Flaming Prawn Gobi? Flaming Prawn yeah. Gobi. There we go. So what, what, whilst we're waiting for the votes to come in, um, what were your other choices? White tiger goby was the second one as well. Oh, it was white either the goby. black cap or the white tiger. I like white tiger gobies a lot. That's why I mentioned it earlier. Um, okay. But you don't. They're not that. They're not that colourful. They're not that flamboyant like, like the other one. The other oh, ones. these guys. I don't like these guys. I thought you. Because I you thought, have I was terrible like, taste. I was thinking there's a little black capped. I think it's called the black capped or the white capped goby that I was thinking of. Yeah, I, go, go. Put that one on because that's the other. That was the other one I was, was going to go for first for. 
Okay, the, uh, the white tiger goby, I'm not that keen on, but the black cap, I think, is cool. Yeah, that yeah, that was that was the one I was going to go for. Although even then, that's a, uh, that's not a great photo. It doesn't look that cool. But when when I've seen this in the flesh, and they look awesome, they're tiny. The problem, I always have massive really cool. tanks, so when I You're so I, I, it's like they they disappear in a tank that's, that's huge. But I like having small fish in a big tank. Maybe not quite that small, but. They the issue with those is that, that you can't get you know, it's about getting food to them. So mm. where well, you know what um, is sorry, the, the poll is close. So They're it's pretty... it's fifty six percent. So I'm gonna leave it again. We're at seventy two votes, so I'm gonna leave it till it gets to ninety. Um oh that's a good shout. Catalina gobies. they're quite cool. Um sorry. Oh no, that's that is this is what I this is the photo. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I think of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is. But do you know what I mean? Like, that I'm guy. trying to realize you've got some sort of weird, like, sexual white thing cap. towards these fish. I think. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's why I keep fish. Yeah, uh, it's a white cap. That is the one that I was thinking of. That's cool. And he's got his little pistol shrimp behind him. But yeah, so I my other choice was a Randall. A Randall's goby was it? A Randall's goby? Yeah, it was a Randall's goby, which is the little white white body with yeah with orange stripes. They're a bit boring. Yeah. But I think they're I think they're quite cool, and I um I think I've got one. You think you've know. got one? Yeah, I, I have. I have. Um, I have a goby in, in the coral farm, which is not the goby I bought it as. You know, you get like <laughs> yellow watchman gobies. There is a right. mimic yellow watchman goby where when they're Ooh. small, they're identical, and when they get older, they turn brown. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And I just I I didn't know for ages. I just assumed that they that they change color. And then one day I looked at I was reading the, like a magazine. And it's like, have you got this goby? And I was like, yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like this goby is an imposter. And I'm like, oh you bastard. <laughs> oh that's funny. I've, yeah, I've, I've, no, I don't think I've ever had that. But the, but the reason I say I think I've got one is because I've not seen it for probably six months. Yeah. But um, I rarely see it anyway. I can still hear the pistol shrimp occasionally. Yeah. Um, and it, I might still have it. I thought it had died, but I might still have it. I'm not com if I because if I was confident that it had, it had gone, I'd replace it. But I'm not confident enough to buy another one. So that's how that's why I don't think I don't think I know it. Um, Dracula Gobi was was another one on my list. I had one of those again. It died as well. I'm gut. I'm rubbish at keeping Gobi. But they're <laughs> no, really not that great, are you? Oh, suck you know it. what I've just <laughs> noticed the. Since you have lost every <laughs> single vote, basically, for mm -hmm. every single stream we've ever done, I yep. put a picture of your face on a pair of boobs, yeah? And all of a sudden, fucking winning all of them. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's it. How Keep is this happening? <laughs> yeah, I, well, it must be the, uh, the, the, yeah, the face. All of a sudden, everyone's like, oh, I'm starting to see Alex in a totally different light. Maybe we'll let him win this one. Exactly. So that we've got five votes left, and it's at 53%. In favor of me, so it's close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need four votes left. Okay, so four more votes, guys. If you haven't voted, then do vote. If you haven't vote, um, vote for me. If you're going to vote for Alex, just don't vote at all. <laughs> I'm not trying to influence anyone. You can vote for whoever you want. I'm just going to leave it till so it gets to, to ninety. I'm so sad. <laughs> like I've done, uh, I've done enough winning of these, haven't I? So you know. Exactly. Yeah, it's time to let uh, to to let, to let to let me win for once. But um, we've got eighty-eight votes, so two more left, and it's looking good. I'm afraid, Ryan. There we go. 90 or oh, 92 votes. Oh dear, I've, I've left it. If I if the, those last two votes have tipped in your favour, I'm going to. And that would be funny. No, 53% Yashigobi. Wicked. Put that in the poll. Yeah. Come on. Oh, Ryan, I've lost, I just, I've I'm, lost I'm three one four up. Four out of five now. Crazy. Oh, Christ. I, I I genuinely like before like we started doing these polls, I was always like I've got a good taste in fish, and then we started doing them. I was like I've got rubbish taste in fish. <laughs> I think that the butterfly category, if you do it honestly, if you do it honestly, which I know what you love, then if you do that, then I think I can win that one because the one you love is rubbish. <laughs> oh, okay. So I know exactly what you mean. We'll come on to that. I know, I know what you mean. I have been honest actually. Um, but we'll, we'll come on to that next. I've not categories. really been listening. The art is just too appealing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's just having some quiet time. Um, uh, but yeah, okay. So uh, Gobi's not don't seem to live very long. Yeah, my my wheelers Gobi or Randall's whatever it was. Um, uh, I had him for about five years, six years, and I think it's died. 
They don't. Who? Gobies aren't one of the longer living fish. You can have tangs, even clownfish. I think clownfish you can live for like thirty years, um, but yeah. I don't think gobies are that long lived. No, especially, it's, it's, especially some, some of the smaller ones. Yeah, it's, it's weird because you can't really tell. Like you, I've, I, I lost a ras not long ago, and it, I'd had it for about seven years. And from what I can make out, that's about average for a silver belly ras. Yeah. But it's really hard. There's no like, um, there's no scientific, um, or not that I could find anyway, studies on on how long fish live. Some of them, like you say, clownfish, 25, 30 years, no problem. Yeah. Um, Reef Dog needs some merch. I know Maybe what you some need. Stickers. Reef Dog merch. Maybe those, yeah. This, yeah, <laughs> on a mug. So you can have <laughs> your, your morning coffee. And you can have it the heat sensitive one. So when when you when you put up hot water in it, my clothes come off. <laughs> yes, 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 true. Yeah. This is getting really weird. This is getting really weird. Anyway, we'll we'll move on. Uh, all right. So next next category is a favorite category of mine, and you had to remind me. I'd forgotten these actually. Blennies. Uh, yeah. I'm not confident in this one either. This was so this, this is like what was going to be was going to be one of my weak categories. <laughs> Oh, because I I forgot we were going to do just just for clarification I forgot we were doing Blennies until the thirty second countdown of the yeah. start of the stream yeah. <laughs> and I went oh god oh god I I uh, I haven't done Blennies so uh, uh, yes, and if but... if we make that mug James will take it to work by the way well I just uh, or, I, I think I think we're in for uh, <laughs> uh, oh what you, you realize right. that this a, a clear picture of this is going on Instagram later. And it's just going to say, this is the reason you need to watch the live streams. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wanted to put it up before, but then I didn't want, like, I didn't want you to just casually look at your phone and see it. Cause I wanted, I wanted to said, I want a genuine reaction. So but I, th I thought about doing this since the first live stream. I'm not really? joking. <laughs> yes. Oh, <God>. <laughs> it's the very that was first months ago. No, I know. Constantly been thinking today, about I realized me I had a color printer with a blonde wig on. Yeah. So, wow. What can wow. I say? You wait till we finish what? the stream. You know, I've got some alone time later. There's other there's other things you can do with these. What's so. your favorite Blenny, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> I've gone for a red spot Blenny. They're not exciting, but they've got uh, good character. Are they called a red spot lawnmower Blenny sometimes? Then they're fly mode okay. Blennies or something. Fly mode, yeah. Uh, I might have... Ryan, this is a... I'm afraid. Have we gone for the same so... one? No. <laughs> no, I have not. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you choose the picture. Which one do you want? This one, maybe? The one on the very, very... Uh, yeah, that'll do. That'll it, looks like do. It's got, it looks like it's got uh, chicken pox. does a little bit, yeah. Um, uh, look at that. No, no, not... no, 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 no. I like the first you picture. You like that is a terribly picture, washed out picture. Look at all these other amazing pictures. Look at that one. That's So this this for me, they're, they're semi-cool for me. But they're just. Yeah. What do you like about them? Just like the way that they look, or just, well, just you, you are, run out of time. Pretty much all Blennies are ugly. The only thing that's good about Blennies Very is true. that they have good character. The yeah. I didn't want to go for um, a scooter Blenny because they're not like really Blennies, and you're like, good. I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> I um, would have done, yeah. Uh, the only other option I would have gone for was a bicolor Blenny. That was it. Was one of those two choices. There is a weird Blenny I just remembered. Let me find it. Bicolor Blenny was the third fish I ever bought. Um, but yeah, so uh, okay, so that's your half assed pathetic attempt, frankly. And I feel like it was uh, the first one I remembered. <laughs> my, my, I feel like my cockiness is going to cost me here. Um, but my my favorite is the Midas Blenny by an absolute mile. Um, and yeah, I had one of these. On color, though, aren't they? They're just sort of like. Just, how yellow. many fish do you get that are this kind of goldy, uh, orangey, yellowy color, though? Uh, Not many. Um, uh, yellow tangs. Uh, no, yellow they're not. The, they're not the. They're not the gold yellow assessors. How many more would you like me to list off? Well, if you can choose one that actually is the same color. Look at his little <laughs> blue eyes. Look at his blue eyes. He's like an angel. So they. I think they're poisonous. So, Did you know that? I'm pretty sure. Really? Might what, if you poisonous. eat them. No, they. Are they you bite. just trying to throw the pole here? You no, know, that's actually oh, makes yeah, it more interesting. I think their. I think their bite is venomous. I, I think That's they come on hilarious because you get vampire blennies, which are definitely venomous, and I'm pretty sure they are as well. I had no idea. Well, there you go. But the, so the two reasons I love these: one, I think they look they are the, oh, the I brightest. Just said, no, Midas aren't aren't venomous. There you go. So maybe not. You're talking rubbish. So I I think that um, the, uh, the, the firstly they're the coolest looking because they're brightly coloured, but also they're sociable. They swim out. 
a lot of blennies hide in the rocks all day and these guys do as well but they swim out with fish all the time and it's like a thing that if you get a shoal of anthias they'll they'll shoal with them they, they don't, it's not like they do it all day long but they'll swim up and, and play and like they're they're friendly. Look, if I'm going to get a Blenny, I'm getting it for the character. And one of the things that makes them characterful is that they don't leave the rocks. They usually like scoot around the rocks. If I wanted a fish, I'd get an Antheus. If I wanted one that swam in the in the current, I'd get an Antheus. I didn't get a Blenny to swim around. It looks odd. So, uh, yeah, but they, they also spend time, they spend most of their time in the rock, but they're, they're out and about more than most Blennies. I think they're cool. Mine died at five years old, which was, again, from what I could work out, three to five years is rough wife life expectancy so that's disappointing my what what was your second did you have a, I guess you didn't have a second one i guess uh i would have gone for a bicolor blend the only one like any other i could oh think you of. said yeah okay so my, my second one is just i was th- th- i've never had one of these but i would love one have i started the poll i have always oh, close you know i've been too cocky um, did I, did so, I mentioned that um the red spot blenny uh they think that that it has inside it can cure cancer. I if knew I you can oh. say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this my second one was a pictures bunny because it's just the cutest thing in the world. Look at that. No, oh, just, that's, that's just so a, cool. all, pretty much all blennies are just brown. Have you seen a leopard blenny? Uh, leopard pro- blenny. I don't. Think if you so. ever see a leopard blenny in a shop, never buy it because they are an obligate corollivore, I believe. So. Oh really? Oh well, yes. I, they look quite. You should have gone for that. They look quite cool, to be fair. <laughs> yeah they uh, are they're interesting they, that's not a good picture one on the left of that is a better picture they've got like a red tail some of them okay like, that's quite one good. to the left yeah that one yeah that's so a cool when you, you when you you see left i see right by the way i've realized oh that. really oh that's why i always yeah, wonder I've, like, I've, 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 I know, I've, I've only just, just clocked but... there's no, no one taught him his left and right i know um Oh, it's it's relatively close 57 percent in favor of the midas plenty no oh, i've done terrible I'm not sure how I feel yeah. about this. I'm going to leave that till it gets to 80 votes because it's it might swing back. We'll see. The star, the, some, someone else is talking about Starry Blenny. I have a Starry Blenny in my main tank, and they're they're so cool. If I win this poll next week, will be my head here. <laughs> Watch this. Yeah, okay. it shoots up. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you'll have my head on your on your clownfish. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lee Rose is rinsing you, saying you should have gone for you should have gone for uh, bike. No, I know. Well, as I said, I had thirty seconds to think. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't put an awful lot of thought into it. Uh, well, I'm ending the poll. Fifty-seven percent minus. Uh, the the bike. Like, really... oh, we're going to do. Oh, sorry. Sorry. This is what Alex does. He says, "I'm going. This is what we're going to do this week. Um, I've given you a week's notice. Do your homework. And this is what I do half an hour before the stream. What are we doing again?" <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Although this week, I happen to know that you were quite up for this and you, you've you been thinking about it nonstop, basically. Oh, nonstop. Every every moment, like every second of every day, because I was like, exactly. I'm going to have to win all of these. And so every far, I've lost up. five of them. I don't, uh, four. You're four one down. Um, all right. You've the, the, re- the remaining categories, though, I think you, you, you've got a good chance. So I next one is is uh, maybe we'll see anyway, anyway i was gonna say uh so shoaling fish is the next one see i've just got i've just gone for lito anthias they're just they're ah, the ones i like me too uh, well <laughs> remember, the, remember the agreement oh god i'm definitely gonna lose this one so we'll have to fucking i'm gonna sell it i have to sell it hard <laughs> you go first then. The what's your second one chromis blue green chromis uh mm, you um technically bangai cardinals are uh, schooling fish okay um which when you have like a group of them all together in a big enough tank they will, will show and they're actually like quite an interesting fish yeah i think i as far as i'm concerned if anyone picks a blue chromis over that you can breed these in captivity they're sexually i have bred fish. them in captivity have you have you ever have you raised yeah, like I... have you actually raised them up to like the fry so I got to the point, so you, you can tell because the male has a, a big mouth, stuff full of eggs, a, a stuff full of babies, right? So that's how you tell they're pregnant. And then yeah. I, I, I saw that and I kept looking out for it. And then one day his mouth was empty and I was like, oh, they've all died. And there yeah. was one in the sump. One had escaped yeah, they, yeah, and it was in the you sump. You usually find them in the sump, yeah. It's, um... uh, but oh, it, so I, I, I kept it for a few months 
And then I gave it to my neighbor and it got eaten. <laughs> well, it I have, I've raised several batches successfully of, really? of these. I used to really quite enjoy it. I even tried, um, you know, your jellyfish tank behind you. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the problem with them is you have to feed them live food generally right. to, to keep them alive. So what I did is I got a jellyfish tank and then I got frozen rotifers and the jellyfish tank kept the rotifers suspended. So I didn't have to feed them live food. Oh, interesting. Okay. And you do you do get a lower survival rate, but um, the but it's obviously much easier than having to breed like brine shrimp every day. Yeah. Okay. Well, so it's um, it's an interesting when you went for that because I, I actually think if you put Bangai Cardinal, this is probably the same with these. If you put a shoal of them in the tank, you, they'd end up pecking each other off. I think. But that's the same mm. with. Um, well, 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 no, no, no. Don't try and not do a poll on this now that we know that we think Ryan's oh, going to win. Oh, I'm doing a poll, don't you? Oh, um, I, don't, I don't think you're going to win. Sydney Aquarium is absolutely overrun with um, Bangai Cardinal babies in their reef tank. They've got this, like, 12-metre reef tank. It's, like, ridiculously long. It goes from one end of the room to the other. It might not be metres. It might be. It's No, it's definitely not feet. But they've got this massive reef tank, and it's got about 2,000 Bangai Cardinals because they just yeah. keep breeding. And and then the, the oh, babies are funny. surviving somehow. But that's 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 having the space, I think. But anyway, the, you get the same with blue green chromis. So I had actually so th this was my second choice because um, they are cool, but I don't I wouldn't have them. I, I've had yeah. them before, and they just squabble amongst each other. They kill each other, and it's not very nice to watch. Um, and they, I ended up with one, and I didn't like it. So actually, yeah. I wouldn't have these. And I, the the only the only other choice I was going to go for was pyramid butterfly fish i was going to cheat like you i didn't cheat how is that cheating bangai cardinals are shoaling fish yeah i would have you ever seen you know yellow tail damsels jamie's coral reef has yes. like 30, has 30 of them they look amazing all together like in when they swim around together they look amazing yeah okay i can imagine but um the, so the other fish i was thinking was uh the uh banner fish you seen banner fish Yes, yeah. Cor, you really yeah. you like that. Uh, it was quite a wide, a wide range of what we yeah, could have gone for fair, for these. <laughs> to be fair, you could have had Tang's uh, shoal in the wild, don't they? Yeah, I know, but so you could have gone for anything. Um, yeah, it's only things like triggers that don't, <laughs> and butterflies pair off often. But, um, but there we go. Talbot's damsels, lots of dambles, dambles, damsels. I don't. The, oh, ghost cardinals too... as well. Yeah, that was um, Pelagic Swimmers. <sighs> oh, that was the other one I thought about as well. Ghost cardinals. And I they're think they're a bit boring. Is yeah. that, are they tail spot cardinals also known don't as? Know. They just um, they show properly in a tank. They show really close together. They've, yeah, they do, and that, that that supposedly is the the best um, uh, 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 shoaling fish, the tightest shoaling fish in the saltwater derby. Yeah, but to me, they, they just look like neon tetras. They look a bit boring. Yeah, I don't think, uh, yeah, they got blue on them, don't they? Oh, Ryan, you're winning by an absolute landslide. Oh well, you know, seventy two. In fact, you, you you've won you've won so comfortably. I'm going to end it at seventy four votes. Wow, well, uh, you've won. Yeah. 61 percent my bruised ego is you know just marginally repaired i'm surprised i thought i was going to win that one no well, no not even, pride not even. cometh before a fall Sorry. well uh interesting what was uh what was your oh yeah no we both went for wreckfish as our first choice yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay next one is the big one tangs yeah see i I didn't go for anything fancy, but I think it's your turn to go first. Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if I've got a, a video of my one. I've gone for an Achilles tang. Oh, that's what I went for. Oh, is it? Oh, that's a yeah. shame. Look at that. They're so. I, I, this is again. This is one I'd never have because they're aggressive. They get they need a lot of space, and they're ick magnets. Yeah, yeah. But that is cool. Um, Okay, so we both went for Achilles. That's a shame. I think we might have both gone for the same second choice. What's your second choice? I went for a purple. Oh, I went for a gem tang. Well, I just thought, I, this is what I mean. I didn't go for like the expensive fish because I have a gem tang. And when you have a gem tang, it's no different to any other fish. You don't feel any more special about it. That's what I've realized. So I, I just think I went. the reason I went for the purple tang is because they're a bit more interesting colored than all the other sail fins. They're pretty like um, 
they're, they're like they're all just as hardy as each other. They are actually one of the more hardy ones. But mm. I didn't want to pick a gem just for the just to be like you. Just but you only want a gem because it's expensive. Other than that, it's basically just an ugly fish. <laughs> Oh no, I think they're really cool, and I think they look like, like you said earlier, they look like a yellowtail tamarind. But the purple, I so I I had a purple, um, and that was that's my probably my second favorite uh, of, of we, fish that I would actually keep. Okay, so we, if someone said one of these fish is worth a thousand pounds, and you show a gem tang and you showed a purple tang to someone who didn't know, what one do you think they would pick? Gem tang. They wouldn't pick a gem tang. Of course they would. No. Look at that. Look at that. No. It's like I am actually it's... I am gonna move my gem tank from the coral farm into the new tank. That's I'm probably only gonna have a couple of tangs in there. Um really? maybe yeah, just just a yellow and the gem tank. I've I've had a gem tank for years, not once has it ever been in a, in a display tank. So I just I just thought this is the time. This is my time to put it in a display tank. Okay. I, I that's interesting. I, I think the gem tank looks absolutely stunning. And there that's one there are some fish that are just expensive. And, and that's why people like them. I don't think the gem tang is one of those. I think that I, looks beautiful. It's I like think the, the that, star, the sky at night. No, I think that if if it wasn't an expensive, if you didn't know it was that expensive, you would assume it would cost the same amount as like a sailfin tang. I'm just going to show you one thing. This also comes up under gem tang. Yeah, you know, there's a there's a woman <laughs> who's a singer called cool. Gem Tang. G E M Tang. That's hilarious. Yeah. But uh, but I'll give you that the purple purple. Uh, purple tang is a, is a pretty fish i love the deep like those lines across the body and the, the purple overrated tail. is what a gem tang is it's a lot it's just a load of hype and they've actually they've become less desirable because they went from being like 1200 pounds down to like the other day they were like 250 pounds or something so yeah and as soon as oh, everyone's got oh, this is the thing that it they were like a rare fish which was exciting to have that you rarely saw when everyone's got one, they're not that exciting anymore. So, and as Has I said, everyone got one. Well, us fancy people have them, so you you probably don't. But but no, when when um, yeah, when when everyone's got them, you just go yeah. Okay. So what? Once someone someone mentioned the Yerpal Tang, the new super craze Tang. Yeah. Don't even get me started on the on the Yerpal Tang. That's just we'll come YouTubers. On to that in, in That's just it, YouTubers uh... <laughs> out <laughs> there. Publicizing how amazing they are, and they're just not. So I'll come on to that in a sec. Steen, you posted a comment, uh, but it, it got deleted before I could, but I could ask it. So I'll ask the question, and I'll answer it. Um, per Yerpal Tang, then. So that Yerpal Tang, I saw one recently. It's so obviously I did a video about it, which is what you're taking the mick at me for, yeah. vibing it. <laughs> um, and um, and it looked, it looked like it could go one of two ways. It looked, it was like it was. They're, they're a ten grand fish. And there is no way the fish that, that I saw, no one in their right mind would pay 10 grand for that. Yeah. But what people might pay 10 What about grand your mate, Polo? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, but he's got he's got a lot of money. So, you know, hey, no more... he is my mate. Is that is he text me? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, so but a normal person with a normal budget would not spend 10 grand on that fish because they look quite bland, frankly. Yeah. But I uh, I wondered, is it going to grow out to be bland as well or is it going to grow out to be spectacular purple body with yellow fins like a yellow like a purple tang but with all yellow fins or whatever yeah. or is it just going to look mottled and it looks so far and like this one i saw it was the other day uh, it still is young all right so it might it might get better yeah but it didn't look much better and this is this is it when it was very young and it's I like guess... so yeah it's like and this is this is that's what it looked like when i when i saw it I saw one of Polo's ones. They look roughly the same. They just look this sort of pale, like it. It, it, it it's unlikely they're going to have yellow fins and a, and a uh, purple body. I think what will probably end up happening is they they like combine yellow and purple together to get this like muddy brown color. Well, funnily enough, that's what I, the one thing I said in the video was that if you mix yellow and uh, and purple play-doh together you get brown 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 play-doh. <laughs> oh, I didn't I, I didn't I didn't actually yeah, that is one I, of the videos I did watch actually so <laughs> but and but I was like well fish aren't made of play-doh so you know but it looks at so far and the, the polo's one is still young so it might develop into something awesome yeah. but it's not looking great and I would be if I if I'd bought that fish I'd be slightly disappointed. 
what person. was really interesting actually he did a he did a video recently because obviously i watch other people's videos yeah i know you do <laughs> now i think it was inappropriate i think did a video mm. uh with him and mm. i can't remember if i what it might maybe i can't remember it might have just been like a reel or something but he said you know all those koi tanks that everyone's spending thousands of dollars on he said like half of his are just yellow tanks now they just changed back to a yellow really? like normal yellow color so oh, and even do you remember that that um sale film which was white it had like white yeah casper on it. yeah it, no 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 casper's the one at uh, worldwide corals the um the it was like it was a desjardini but it had big white oh, splotches really? on it. They call it a Picasso or something. Um, okay. Even that's changing to being mostly uh, sailfin, just normal Desjardini again. Interesting. It, even Casper's started to go yellow. Apparently, he, sometimes he goes yellow, then he yeah, goes he white goes, again. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so this has been the most popular poll for a, well of, of the night. Yeah. Um, perhaps unsurprisingly, it's Tangs. And you, you've won by a mile, so it doesn't matter if I leave it. Yeah. You are 67% with 108 votes or 68%. So you've won. You're back in it. Oh, dear. I'm not I'm not doing well here. Is it 3-4? Is it 3-4? Uh, it yeah, it is. Oh, no, 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 no. One, two, three. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. That's oh, what I... God. What? So is it, I, thought is it, it, I thought it was 4 all. It's 3-3. Three, it's four, three. I'm winning just. Okay. And now yeah. we're into... See, this is the thing is, those were those fish were my territory. These tangs and the, the next three categories are your territory. Yeah. So I've got a nasty feeling you might do um, you might do better than me. Well, all right. What are we going Go for on. next? Next one is small angel fish. So I, I was going to say dwarf angel, but basically anything that's not a large angel. Oh wow, that that wasn't that wasn't specified. We you know when you messaged me a week ago. I have been. I've I've gone for dwarf angels. <clears throat> oh okay. Uh, I've gone for a potter's angel for my number one. Oh! That's a great shout. I mean, no, they're ugly. Oh, no. I only got a Potter's Angel literally oh. like just before, um, like when we were talking the half an hour before yeah. the screen. That's yeah, when yeah. I got it. But um, just so, did I mention just to, that we... Just that, to remind that, everyone, that, he just said that's a great shout. So even Alex's vote is for my fish this time. Did I mention that um, one of the criteria is that it has to be currently available for collection? Um, you did because this is Hawaiian, that. isn't it? Oh, I oh, didn't know that is a beautiful fish. Look at those, it's, like, it's got like tiger stripes on it, kind of. Kind I just of. realized I should have gone for Potter's Rass because the Potter's Rass is my favorite Rass, actually. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah. is that a fair picture? Do you think is that is that the one you I want? I think it's, this one, it's maybe? a not bad one. Normally, you get they get they're a bit more blue at the back, but yeah, that the first one was better than that picture, but. But yeah, there are you, you get they they seem to be different colors depending on the size of them. I think they do. I don't know if it's a, a regional variant or if it's based on like juvenile and adult coloration. But they do. You do get very significant, uh, either like a gold or orange. It, it are the two ones I've seen. Okay. Someone just said so lemon I... peel angel. Lemon peel angel. If you're if you're about to say a lemon peel, <laughs> I'll let you go. I'm not, but that lemon peel was on the list, and, and when we were talking earlier, I was like, "Oh, lemon peel," and I, I didn't go for it because I. But lemon peel, I really like the lemon peel. Um, fl flame. Did you originally have flame down? I did have flame. Me when, too. <laughs> when, do, you remember, do you remember I said to you we were both going to have the same one? I reckon. So I had exactly. flame, and then I went. Actually, well, if we're going to have the same one, I'm going to go for Potter's because, like. <laughs> I think flame's flame... almost cheating because that like you'd get like ninety nine percent of the. That's what I'm saying. I've, I I can even show you that I've actually look crossed flame out as my first choice. So All it's right. is like, but I just didn't want us to have the same one every single every single time. I'm slightly surprised we don't have that many. But anyway, I've gone for the tiger pygy. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't like the tiger pygy? God. Uh, and I... just... You've just gone for those fancy expensive fish, which once These again, are, yeah. aren't they like a grand or something? This one here, it says it's $1,500 or well, that was $1,500 in February, 2015. I saw one. And in fact, let me get the video up. I saw one um, uh, at Reef Dreams Winchester back when it was in Winchester yeah, yeah. Uh, for 2,000 pounds. And I have so, a video of it. So you've picked that fish. Do you know how much a potter's angel used to be? You've oh, no, 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 no. 1,000. 1,200 pounds. I oh, take it bargain. back. Bargain. Bargain. Look it looks that. like an Elibi angel fish. Do you want to pay 1,200 pounds for a fish which is almost identical to like a 20 pound fish? Do you know what it looks like? It looks like an Elibi angel crossed with a lemon peel, funnily enough. Oh, is that do what it is? Why it looks like that? 
Yeah, exactly. I didn't, I didn't know that. Um, but that was... That's yeah, not that, even that, a species. It's a, it's a naturally occurring hybrid. Yeah, but it's not like its own species. It, is, that, is that or is that not a fish, Ryan? It is a <laughs> fish. That's, that's You've really chosen a fish that you can't even get hold of. You might, no. have, got, you might as well have gone for whale shark or something. Mm, oh. <laughs> well, well, don't let that, that guy might get excited. So he's been quite. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> but all that right. literally so, so... just looks like an Alibi angelfish. I'm sorry. So I, I don't know how much Alibis cost, but they're not that expensive. They're one of the cheaper angelfish because yeah, less, they're less ugly and no one wants them. So <laughs> you've basically gone for the ugly brother. I do. Th I think a Potter's Rass is better than a Potter's Angel. Uh, you'd have to show one. I kind of I know what they are, but a Potter's Angel is one of the only angelfish that I've never had and, and actually wanted. Um, so I, I had flames, and I, my other choice actually well, I was going to go for a golden angel, but you would have picked a really shit picture of a brown angel, whereas a proper golden angel are like copper coloured. They're like nice. Yeah, I, I saw one years ago that I really liked, but, but they, it was quite expensive. It was like a hundred quid, which when this was like six, seven years ago, and that was like the equivalent of double that now. And I was new to the hobby. So I like when you're new to the hobby, like 20 quid for fish, you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. And then when you're deep into the hobby, like you and I are, <laughs> you just throw any money. You're like, I don't care. Right? You're like, oh, so, yeah, um, I'll have that black tang for three and a half grand. <laughs> exactly. You're like, oh, well, I could just eat less for six months, you know. Um, but uh, but so I didn't get it because it was going to be they're, they're quite secretive. Yeah. Oh, you're winning. No way. A landslide. I should have gone it? for um yeah. Uh, actually, you've had a few of um uh of dwarf angels, haven't you? You had a few in the same tank, right? I had seven dwarf angels in a tank. I had two flames, two coral beauties. <laughs> a lemon peel, a bicolor, and a golden angel all in a reef tank. And they were all good as gold until I, until LPS? one. Uh, yes, LPS. Okay. Yeah. But not, they weren't acans. They were just like frog spawn and stuff like that. The right. coral beauty, one of the coral beauties turned. And he went, you know what? I'm going to start eating coral. And then the others learnt and they all went uh, insane. No, no. And they ate everything. It was like I had this perfect equilibrium of all these really cool dwarf angels all together, only mm. to for one to ruin it. <laughs> How long did it take? What, to sell them all? A lot. No, no. <laughs> yeah. How, long, <laughs> How long did you have them before one turned bad? Went oh, a long time. Long, long time. They actually they came from tanks with other people that had coral. So I thought, oh, they're right. safe. So they were probably a couple of years or something. I yeah. used to do some really cool like experiments with my tanks before. Like with things, I used to really like try and push the boundaries like that, where you've got seven angelfish in mm. a reef tank. But I haven't done it for a long time. But coming well, soon. that's coming back. Yeah, yes. exactly. That's yeah. coming back. That is the Japanese pygmy name. Is that the Venustus or the I Interruptus? It's it's the one that Milev's got. It's the yeah. the one where it's if you look at it really close up, it's pretty. But if you from far away, it just looks like someone's got like smudged ink. <laughs> That, yeah, and these are so that and and like that. That's a dream fish for some people, but for me, I'd walk past it. If if it was if you offered it to me for fifty quid, I'd be like, no, I'm all right, thanks. Mm, I'd have to um, go, I want to Google it because I was have a quick look because I did consider uh, that one, but I thought I thought you're going to be able to shoot that one down too easily. So there is one picture from reef builders where if you if you Google it and you, you see the reef builder picture, you're like, yeah, that is a cool fish. Cherubane like is a, pretty cool. I was going to say it looks like a cherub angel, though. <laughs> yeah. or, or the is it the yeah. flame back angel? That yeah, the cherub and flames are very similar. The only difference that, I think is so like that's... how. Oh, sorry. Go on. No, I was just saying the, the cherub and angel and, and, and they're this they're very similar. But anyway. Mm. So that's mm. a good photo. It looks like there's a someone's put a flash on him because a lot of light. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. It's for me, they're just they're okay. They're just not the, when they get bigger, they don't look as cool. Look, there's some bigger pictures there just underneath those pictures. Uh, this, oh, yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. That, it looks that, like someone just smudged ink. <laughs> yeah, loads of fish lose that fade and look boring when they get older, though. Even the yellow rass, which is so bright, when mine's like seven years old and it's just faded, it's looked boring. <laughs> yeah, um, one second, daft galk. Uh, five pound super chat. Thank you very much. Reef, uh, repeat in a super chat. Love your live stream. But if you don't see a battle of the dragonet mandarin mandarin scooters, 
I'll be sure, surely disappointed in you both. Well, I, uh, oh. if you don't see a battle, the oh, we, we didn't do okay. that, did we? We'll do that as a bonus category then. Yeah, but there's only like three uh, of them. We've already said earlier that we were going to go. We were both pick the red one with the with the yellow fin. <laughs> I will choose the other one then, the the, the mandarin, the normal mandarin blue man all wow. the green spotted ones cool oh we'll, we'll do that do you know what we'll, we'll, we'll do that i'm gonna end the poll because i've got i will get we'll do that at the end actually and that like it might be the time on, i'll pick the mandarin as if you've just so you already know my choice then you pick a fish to go against it <laughs> well uh, you won that by the way you won so, so it's tiger it's four all then Potter's Angel, 70%, 71%. Tiger Pyge, 28%. I hate that yeah. YouTube can't do maths. Basic maths. Anyway, yeah. it's, it's, yeah, it's four all. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, I thought I was going to walk all over you. A four one up. I've been I, 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 yeah, I, well, At least it's not been a, like a total wipeout for either of us now. So. Yeah. Um, but before we go into the next category, Hugh Rayner has a question. Do you guys use food supplements to enhance colors in fish? No. No. Uh, I've, I've thought about it a lot. But go on. I don't. I feed a whole range of all different food to the coral farm, everything from pellets to flake to when I say coral farm, I've got about 40 fish in there as well. Um, I feed nori, mastic, grazing wheels, five cubes of mysis every day. I don't, not all in not all at one go, <laughs> but I've never added anything. I even clams sometimes every so often I'll give clam to, to the cock okay. Um but <laughs> So yeah, it's it's about variety, I think, rather than food supplements, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably you're probably right. I've tried lipovit, lipovit, lipo garlic. It's the same thing, um, yeah. uh, which is Tropic Marion one a couple of times. But it's just, the trouble is, it's it's quite a lot of extra effort <laughs> uh, to to add it in. So I don't do it. And it's actually the lipovit, the drip stuff, is better for flake and pellet food. That's what it's designed for, and I only feed frozen food, so I think probably a, a varied diet is a better shout. It's um, I, there's no proof of, of that it actually works. I hate things that you don't actually know if they're doing anything. But it talks about it's 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 got things like omega three in it and a certain oils and this. I think there's science behind it, and Tropic Mariner are one of the more scientific companies. They're not a snake oil yeah. type. Um, so I think there is something to it, but I've, no, I've never tried it long enough to, to know if it actually it's, does yeah, anything. Yeah, but it's like if, it's like a vitamin C tablets for humans. Do you, yeah. do, you, do you know if they make a difference? Are you Is the dose they're giving you enough to make a difference? One of the things that really annoys me is that garlic is put in so much food, and garlic yeah, is yeah. not good for fish. <laughs> but they only mm. put garlic in the food because people associate garlic with a positive, like a healthy thing for fish. So if if we didn't, it does make them to some extent. I think uh, it can increase the chance of them eating, but there's there are it's actually say, damaging yeah. for them. It's so, an appetite stimulant. If it's not eating, then they smell it and they're like, "Oh, that's that's cool." Like if you smelt garlic bread, you'd eat it, wouldn't you? <laughs> very, Even if you if, if you're on hunger strike. So uh, so I think that's that's when it's a, there's a legitimate use, but you wouldn't can, you wouldn't keep feeding it. And if you there are sometimes you'll see in your in your local fish shop, mysis, and then next to it is mysis with garlic. And you yeah. might think, oh, it's the same price. I'll get the mices with garlic. Better off. Yes. <laughs> yes. And the other th the thing that annoys me even more is brine shrimp with garlic. Because although, yes, <laughs> things mostly eat brine shrimp at first, <clears throat> but brine shrimp is like cardboard for fish. So if anyone who's watching this is feeding your fish brine shrimp, stop feeding them it. Unless they're not eating anything else. <laughs> don't, don't just be like, Ryan told me not to feed, it, feed you anything. <laughs> But mice um, is so much better for them than brine shrimp. Anyway, that's my yeah. Way. That's all. all I think. Uh, so Jay's real reef says uh, hi, Jay. By the way, how you doing? Uh, it says surely there's a best in show at the end. Ultimate fish. There isn't, but the only reason is because I think we've covered, we, we, or we will do anyway. If we haven't already, we have covered the best fish, and it's we're coming up to yeah. the the next two categories. Uh, do you know what? I won't spoil it. The next category. Then let's let's move on to the next category: large angel fish. Okay, you get to go first this time. Do I? Ah, oh, but the thing yeah, is, so this pot. is. I went for potters. Oh, you did last time, yeah, yeah. So this, you, you are the angelfish man, all right. And I, yeah. uh, we, I think we both agreed that we can't use the one that we both want to use. Yeah, because we, well, I was assuming you went for regal angel first. I did go for regal angel. I have a regal angel, um, okay, and yeah. they are awesome. But my, and my second choice, and so you, but we both went for that, and they, they're just so cool. But my second choice, I know you won't have gone for. But okay. you have we we've done this before, 
on on angelfish and you have a, a more sophisticated angelfish palette yeah. and people have voted for you yeah <sighs> but i went for the emperor angelfish and i know you don't like it i i think you might win this based on i hope so from i i, I for me, the Emperor Angelfish is just this is one of the fish that when you're getting into the hobby, but the fact that it changes from, from that to that uh, uh, junior to adult, that is just so, oh, either junior or adult. They're they are very so common, stunning. Is the only thing that I, that like they're incredibly common fish. It's true that, um, yeah. and I'm not saying that should make a difference. It's just, I just don't fancy one. I'm not sure what it is. I just, it's just never been for me. I'm not saying they're unattractive fish. I prefer the mm. juvenile over the adults. I've I've always preferred the juvenile over the adults. Um, mm. But I just, it's just a bit of a meh. It's like a shot. It's like there's no thought in, was involved when picking that fish. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, it's, I went. It's just it's just the coolest. I, it's hang on. There's a raccoon butterfly. Look, uh, there I, it is. Look at that. You know, at do, that. do you want to know what is interesting, though? You see how that, how cool that fish looks like? That fish is in white light. Our reefs are mostly yeah. blue. And when you put them in blue light there, you can hardly see them. Uh, and no, that is mine's, actually mine's, true. Mine's white during the day. Although you think that I run whiter light than most people. Yeah. But, but yeah. I, I've had but one of those fish in a reef tank. And because it's blue at, with blue light, you can, you can hardly see it. <laughs> And that's the other reason I wouldn't get one again because it's like, see, I'm, yeah, I'm that's what I'm saying. Chances. See, that this was I knew you, the first two fish you were going to go for was a regal angel and a emperor angel, and they were my first two choices as well. So when I I knew you were oh, going to really? do that, yeah, they were. So I then went. There's one angel fish which I really like, and I genuinely would get it if I could get one. I don't know how expensive they are, and it's the Hawaiian masked angel fish. Not ma no, not masked. Uh, banded Hawaiian banded angelfish. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah, the ones that are like exactly. raccoons, you know, with the thing over their eyes. Now, these, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, the reason these fish are so rare is because they're collected from really, really deep down. So yeah. there's always <laughs> going to be a rare commodity of them, and they just they're just something that they're one of those fish when you go look at it and you go, wow, it's not the most brightly colored fish. It's not going to beat yours on color, but it is like. An emperor, if, let's put it this way, if there was an emperor angel fish in, in your local fish shop and someone two hours away heard there was an emperor angel fish, they're not going to come see it. Someone two hours away would drive to go see this fish. And that. So the, the one downside of this is, is that these get, when they get big and older, they look a bit faded. But do they? I saw one. Do, yeah, they do. They, they, and they don't look, they don't look great. But I saw one of these, one of the first, I used to, do you ever read Ultra Marine magazine? Uh, I have I have read it before, yeah. I used to quite regularly. I don't anymore. But I, there was some guy, I can't remember who it was, but some guy had one of these in a reef tank. And I was like, yeah. oh, that is cool. Because it's unique, uh, yeah. isn't it? It's got the black stripe. That, that, that's what it's got. It's got that like unique factor to it. And and that's, mm. although this is an expensive fish, same exactly the same as the gem tang was an expensive fish. It's not, the gem tangs, they're like, they're everywhere now. Whereas... I bet majority of people will have never seen this angelfish, and people have to risk their life to some extent to go collect some of these these deep water fish. So I was talking to someone in a local <laughs> fish shop about this yesterday. What are you laughing yeah. at? I just I like I like to for at least four or five angels. Uh, pe no, I like for at least four or five people to have died collecting my fish for ah. it to be a cool <laughs> fish. <laughs> So I was talking to someone, uh, to Bruce, hi Bruce, uh, in, in my local fish shop yesterday about this. because, And I was talking about this video because I took this video of their old shop, Reef Keeper Windsor. Yeah. Um, and I £2,000 for that fish is, is cheap. because I would buy that fish. Buy, yeah. But if you were to buy one now, there'd be a lot more. But the, so uh, the, the, he, he saw one for £600 in a shop. Yeah. And it had this red mark on its belly. And it turned out that it had the red mark on its belly because it had been caught um, and uh, when it was caught, they just punctured its, um, yeah, they, its yeah. bladder because Swim what you're bladder, supposed yeah. to, because they're so deep, deep water, you're supposed to bring them back up to, otherwise they get the bends, but decompress them basically. Yes, yeah. And yeah. so this one hadn't been caught properly. Um, they, but that's, that's, that's part of the, 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 they live in such deep water. Sorry, Karen. Have you seen it when that happens? They like swell up, yeah. they, like the fish swells up with, right. I think with lionfish, when they bring, bring lionfish up to it, like, their swim bladder actually like pushes out of their mouth. And you can see this like big like thing, and that's when they 
get a needle and put and poke it and then it and it brings it down. Right. I think it's relatively common practice to do that. But oh, really? as I said, that's I don't so expect good. to win this one because it's not it's not like a pretty fish like that. But I well, actually, that's just but, as well because you you're getting your pants pulled down. <laughs> frankly, am I? this one. Am I? Seventy seven. I didn't even know you done the, the emperor. Yeah. Yeah. See, but, um, as I said, I, I I don't mind because like. I picked the Regal Angel and I picked the Emperor, and I only picked this one as something different. Yeah, okay. So I and I'd love I'd love the Regal Angel, but the band I think the band is a good shout. I I would have thought it would have been closer, but the Regal is so a pretty I. awesome fish. Lots of love in the chat, by the way. I've seen four or five people talk about the Gold Flake, and this I only oh. remember this when we started talking, but half an hour before we started, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah. I love them. They're very cool. Conspicts are cool. They are cool as well. They're all right. Uh, majestic, you like majestic angels, don't you? You're you're a fan of them. Uh, they're all right. They're they're okay. As I, I'm genuine, I'm thinking an awful lot about it at the moment. What signature angel am I going to have in that tank? Because it's entirely possible I'm only going to have one angel fish, and that's it. Because angel fish are mean as well. I don't know if you know this. Like they are not friendly fish. They they are right, like. Okay. I had a cream angel, was like one of the worst fish I ever owned. Yeah. They're so aggressive. So not only am I restricting what coral I can have, I'm concerned at what it's going to be like with his tank mates. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Because they get quite big as well. Some of them. Yeah. Yeah. I want I a reasonably like big one. I don't want to start with one that's like this big. If look, you have to get, you've got to take what you can get in this hobby. So that applies mm. to, you know, fish, women. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I'm not desperate for this one, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll never that's... be desperate enough for this one. <laughs> uh... It turns the wrong way. There you go. I know um, it's weird, isn't it? I know. But I, um... I, I've, I've ended that poll, by the way. I won 73% Emperor Angel, 26% Bandit. Yeah. And yeah. Well... The, and the, so the, the thing is, so now I'm 5 4 up. So we, we're into the final category. And someone earlier said, what, no um, butterfly fish? Well, that's well this the is the final, final category. category, and you better be going for your for the one that you say you're going to go for because you're like the oh, thing I is, love this fish so much. I, I know why you're saying this. The thing is, I think the honest answer is we've both chosen the same fish for number one. We have not. You've not. What uh, is, is this your turn? I think. What's your what? What have you? No, got? no. Look, look. One second. <laughs> Let's get this straight. Let's get this straight. There is one butterfly fish that you want. We were we picked this not based on winning. We didn't pick this based mm. on winning. That was the rules. We picked it on what mm. fish we would really, really want the most of that category. Yep. Yeah. And what fish do you really want the most of that category? Which you even send me pictures of it. Oh, and I'm nice. like, meh. Yeah. Do you know what? That's my second choice. Oh, no. It's not. I swear to God, and I'm being honest here, hand on heart. You went my for Copper Band first, didn't you? Which I thought you'd go for as well, right? Uh, I did oh. go for that one first, yeah. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, got I it. Did. Okay. So, and Copper Band, genuinely, Copper Band, hand on heart, is hand on heart is is yeah. a better fish no, than no, an no. Ariga butterfly for me. Okay. But anyway, we know, we know what your, we know what your second, second choice is now. Copper Band, so, the trouble is Copper Band would win against anything. We're so going to fall out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you were, you were supposed to be going first, weren't you? What, what was your fish? I've gone for an Addis butterfly fish as my Ooh, second. Oh, a reef dork butterfly. Oh, that's yeah. disappointing. Oh, this will be ironic if you win this. Uh, so this yeah. is so for the, yeah. This is this is what the reef dork logo is based on. Oh yeah, I should have known this actually because you talked about that last week. So Addis butterfly. Yeah. And actually, so by the way, the old the old style reef dork. Let me just put um, oh wrong person. Uh, the old style. <laughs> I reef, just sorry. love it. <laughs> the old style reef dork logo had a black eye, but the new Reef Talk logo, which you will see below and uh, on the subscribing thing and all that stuff, has a blue eye now, so he's more uh, factually accurate. I digress. This is the Addis Butterfly. Yes. I think that is one of the nicest butterfly fish. You see, it's like the yellow with the orange stripes on it as well. You know, if, you, if I told you about an Addis Butterfly, you wouldn't even really remember those stripes, would you? And then the the contrasting blue eye. Yeah. That, the only thing with them is they, they they get quite big as well. They're relatively reef safe, though. They're relatively Are reef they? safe. I'm actually going to try one. Interesting. 
Yeah. Mm, I didn't know that. I'm, go I'm going to try one in, in the... Uh, they're not really reef safe, not like proper reef safe, but they're relatively. They're one of the SPS safer SPS reef safe? I think I think so, yes. I don't think they're like... I think they will destroy trackies and ACANs and things like that. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, well, but then you just, you're, you're not going to keep them, are you? So. No. <laughs> I feel like if I can keep anything... <laughs> Okay, well, the, so if if this um, the one thing we haven't thought about is a tie break. So start thinking about uh, a, a, an ult. So this Jay suggested earlier. There's got to be an ultimate fish. Start thinking about your choice because if you win this, which I think you might do, um, uh, then we're going for we're going to it's, it'll be five all. And I should have thought about this. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, but yeah, I, I should have gone uh, best of eleven, shouldn't I? Okay. Yeah, we so didn't... right, so I'm posting that just by just so if you're watching this. So, um, Addis butterfly is the the blue teardrop, and the Ariga butterfly is the uh, the, the the other one, <laughs> the white and yellow one. Oh, can, can we can we in the in the chat explain to Alex why no one wants an Ariga butterfly fish? They're just like you've won. Why would you 75%. want seventy five percent? It's it's we only had sixteen votes. Oh no, it's getting closer. I, I do you not think that is a, just the coolest fish in the world? No, it's just. What... Why would anyone look? You cut it eats coral. It's probably a, like a like a ninny, so that it can't be kept with yeah. other mean fish. And it and it and it's just like it's not even that colourful. It's just like that. But they're just the, the white on those fish is so bright. This is like for me. These are like the bandit angels. They got the, no. the black over the eye. And when you see these in the shop, that white is like so bright. If I bright saw that in a yellow. shop, I would. I'm not even sure I've ever even seen that in a shop. I'd just be like, meh. Not. I'd be like, take my money. And I, I, if, you, I, if you saw an Addis in a shop, you'd be like, look at that Addis, wouldn't you? I researched that for, for months and I researched it in the Conscientious Marine Aquarist by Bob Fenner. Mm -hmm. And he said they were reef safe or like he, he persuaded me that they were more reef safe than they are. I think you should I think you should get three and just put them all in just to see what uh, happens. <laughs> exactly. And I decided they weren't in the end because everybody else says they were. But I was surprised. But um, all right, do you know, so because this is such an important vote and it's at 63 percent so far, so I think you're going to win. But I'm going to leave this to get to to 90 votes. I can't think of a cool fish. Um, well, I tell you what we'll do, because it was the, the member's suggestion was um, was uh, was mandarins and dragonets. No, 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 no. There's two, it's the, the category is too. too you much. could put any two fish up against each other. We could do that of any category. But Mandarin, that, that category is too small. Well, I'll tell you what, what, whilst we're waiting for this, we'll do the Mandarin category anyway. I would have gone for the the, the standard Mandarin dragon, it, the purple one. Well, yeah, look, they're, they're what all right. What would you have gone for? I probably would have gone for, for the, if, oh, if any of them, I probably would have gone for that. I I have I do like the, the red ones with the, the yellow. There's one fish which I actually think is a cool fish. Oh, actually, ooh. it's not. No, but it can't. We can't have the ultimate. Can we just have another miscellaneous category? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I've got, uh, yeah, I've got two. Ooh. I don't. I don't want it to be classified as the ultimate fish because that would be weird. I've got one. I've got one. Um, what? So which would you? Which which would you go for? Would you have gone? Because the other one that yeah, I, would I would have, have, would have had in my, my category was the green spotted one. This one. I wouldn't have gone for that one. I probably would have gone for for this ultimately, but yeah, me too. that's just so cool. You know, there's two there's two forms of that as well. You get like a red mandarin and a normal mandarin. This one, the red one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the, so this is called a blue mandarin, is it? Uh, and then that's the red one. Yeah. But they're just they are they are like amazing. But they're just these are probably one of the fish that die more than any other, which is a shame. I actually, I I've got the last category. I want you to show people a cool fish that should be the last category a fish which is like it's not the most expensive it's not the most colorful it's not it's just a cool fish well first off i've ended one that the they probably cause... haven't seen uh i don't i'd have to i need thinking time for that you've won that by the way Addis okay. butterfly 63 percent ariga 36 percent. so we are tied we're going to do we're just going to do an open category so you can choose any fish you want it doesn't have to be the ultimate fish but you can choose any fish you want because we're at five all and i have one in my head that was the other one that didn't make the cut for the um for the open category we're at five all how's this happened oh i see i've got i've got one but you would need <sighs> 
I'm I'm torn. Do I want to show people a fish they probably haven't seen, which is actually really cool, or do I want to try and win it? <laughs> you want to win? I uh, do. I, do I try to win it, and then uh, and then tell us about the the fish that uh, that you're educating us, oh master. What are you going yeah, for? It's that. your turn to go first, I think. Scarlet hawkfish. Oh, I, I'm not going for a scarlet hawkfish. I was going to go. I well, oh, I want to go for this fish. But you have to find a video of it because if you don't find a video, it won't work. I, want I mean, you to... is there any point? Look, I've won already. It's just they're so awesome. <laughs> I want you to find a video of a flashing tile fish. You know, what the ones where they change oh. color instantly when they're stressed. It's like green, yellow, blue, red. <laughs> that's a, that's the cool fish, which I thought. But you have to find a video of it to be able to. And if you well, don't want to find news... a video... I'll good go news is I found the video. The bad news is it's not flashing. Oh no, that one's flashing. Look, no, it's not. Yeah, this is no. going blue. And there is a video on YouTube where it's amazing and it's like instant color changes. Yeah, that one. No, barely. I would tile. I would tile fish are really boring. The one I was going to go for is a dragon pipe fish. Dragon. Oh, I'm surprised. Okay, well, it's just I'll, I'll give, interesting. I'll do you a favor. Because um, I think these, of all the pipe fish, they're they're one of the, the most boring ones, I think. But I'll do you a favor. We'll, we won't go for the tile fish. So that's that's the one you want to go for, right? Yeah, I want to go for that. Just keep that. That's the picture I want to go for. That one there is just a cool fish. It oh. eats it eats pests. It's red. It's one of the only fish which eats red bugs. So you know that little scarlet hawk fish you've got. Sure, it's red, but it doesn't do anything. It's got character. You see, little eyeballs go like comedians. Are you telling me Are this fish separate? doesn't have? character? character it looks like it goes yeah. to a private school <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the most snooty fish it like just like casually you know they're not like i've got i've got i've got a couple of them there are more interesting um uh pipe fish than this i would go for the candy pipe fish if i were you yeah you look, there's loads of ones i just thought that's i just thought that was in sort of an interesting look, I've actually so these one. of all of the pipe fish i might go for the dragon one Dragon face pipe fish, um, because they're one of the easiest ones to keep, apparently. And they're reef, they've got they can live in a reef. Most pipe fish can't live in a reef. But they've got nothing, they've got well, because of the flow. Yes, these can handle high flow. They've got nothing on the on the candy pipe fish. I'm afraid, Ryan. It's looking good. I think I might I might win this one. I'll let this go to a hundred votes because it's no, important. How does how did the, the, the scarlet hawkfish beat? Yeah, that's I would have gone for that. Or maybe the banded one. That's cool. The, the candy, oh. the candy. That's I want a pair of these. Yeah. I might get a pair of these. Might be a bad idea, but ah, <laughs> uh, oh, Brooke Smith is winning. Oops, I just said myself. I'm not surprised. <laughs> People are suckers for bright colours, aren't they? They're they're not they're not. But they're, it's not just bright colours. The the scarlet hawkfish is uh, a awesome yeah. characterful fish. Honestly, it's one of my favourite fish in my tank. Yeah. I've had him for years. He doesn't eat shrimp. <laughs> he doesn't eat my cleanup crew. He's yeah. not aggressive. He's he lives with two other hawkfish, and they get all get on great guns. The falco hawkfish is a bit of a dick, but he's all right. Um, yeah, I know what you mean. I just don't know if I was going to have one or the other. If you're going to pick a cool fish, yeah. the cool ones like no. If I had a if I had a scarlet hawkfish in the coral farm, people would be like meh. If I people see the dragon pike fish in there all the time, they're like. What is that? That's amazing. So, yeah, but people do that with pulsing xenia. Yeah, people are idiots. <laughs> so people like pulsing xenia. <laughs> Basically, so it's 67 percent 84 votes. So we've got 16 before I end yeah. it. I'm at 67 percent I'm basically running down the finishing straight with you yeah. miles behind me celebrating before actually, I actually, no, there's I, I want these votes recounted. Every vote, I think I think dead people have been voting. I think that um what what's, what are the other things? I think they were like ballots who have been thrown out of mine. Bots. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think Russia yeah. in, intervened with this. I think Putin's we're talking about the Putin. American election. Yeah. If if Putin was choosing a vote to back, he wouldn't be choosing me. I'll tell you that much. Probably um, not. But uh, we've got 11 votes to go, and you're going to need a serious comeback to win. Okay. This. No, we got one more. I got Michigan. one more category. One more, not a category, you, you win official, but I do want you to ask the viewers do we go back to the normal pictures or do we keep these ones up <laughs> going forward? Okay. 
Oh, okay. Well, 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 do you know what? I'm going to end it before 100 because we're at 90 and I'm at 60. I know. I, I concede. I, I, I just I, I stumbled at the finish line. I thought that was I close. Thought I, could that win. Was... I thought I could win. If you there was one video of the flashing tilefish on YouTube, which if you had it, and it's like it's really properly flashing, that I thought that you might, I might be able to win that one. I I think Kyle Fisher a bad choice. I think, and I might be wrong. I mean, I've been proven wrong before, but I, Kyle Fish a boring fish. I'm I know, I know. When they're just normal, when they're not stressed, they're just they're. But you know, I, I could have gone for a frog fish as well. I think that would probably would have beaten a a. a um, I reckon they frog a, fish are a bit boring. I, I think I might have found the video you're talking about. It's not one. that one either. It just watch this in just two seconds and watch it. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, it's, but it's boring. I, mean, I kind of. It's not the one I was thinking of, but tilefish are dull. I don't like them at all. It really was. It was. Them. It was a stab in the dark. I couldn't think of a cool fish. We've just spent. We spent two hours talking about all the fish we know, and then you're like, uh, "Hey, just think of another one." <laughs> okay, but this is the trouble. So I should have. I should have thought about that. I didn't think it'd be so close. I thought I was going to lose comfortably. Me too. Uh, but yeah, I <laughs> know. <laughs> I'm not sure but, I'm coming okay. back next week. I'm too hurt. Know, yeah. Sore loser. Oh, wicked. I've won. That's amazing. Uh, this all right. is the well, video. You... I found it. I've, I, don't, I won't be able to show it to you, I don't think. I probably won't be that exciting when I watch it. <laughs> Hold it up to your camera and I'll oh, start yeah, I'm going to do. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to also ask which um, which pictures do you want? Which pictures it, do you want? I don't know if you, can, if you can see it properly or not. See, look, it's um... like, wait. I thought that was a cool fish to show people. But you're like, hey, look at this light blue fish, which is not that interesting. I, I just, yeah, it's, that is boring. I just tile fish are dull. I just actually, don't like well, actually, to be fair, you could there could have I could have gone for a low look. I I accept defeat. I could have gone for a porcupine puffer fish, which probably would have beat it because they've got good character, or any yeah. puffer fish probably, um, because that's what they're saying. They're saying puffer fish. I, I was going to go for a porcupine puffer instead of the Toby, but I, I, I honestly, I prefer the Toby to the porcupine. I was going to go for the um, Rhinopius as well for my miscellaneous fish, other than Rhinopius. Like, Which ones? They're that? like the pink frog fish. They're like really. Expensive. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I was going to go. For, I was going to go. What was I going to go for? The um, oh, the green spotted filefish. Yeah, yeah, I did think of that at one point as well. I did think about that. A rainy tarfish, yeah, they're boring. I don't. I like know. Them. I don't get those. I don't. They're people love those, but but they, they, so they came into the hobby. I think Reefkeeper wins it. Reef yeah, and, they sorry, had the first one. Uh, and I saw it, and I was like, "Cool." It's like it's it's cool that it's unique and that it's the first ever one in the hobby. But that's it. They were I expensive, would... weren't they? I seem to. I'm yeah. sure they were a lot of money, and I was just like, uh, "It wasn't mega bucks, but it was a grandish." It was. Oh, it was a lot. Oh yeah, it just wasn't mega bucks. <laughs> bucks just like grandish. But I mean, like it's not Yerpel tank. So, it's, it's all right, you know. Angel money. It's all right, you know. This it's okay. Don't just. Uh, we now we now know how you feel about these grand fish. They're, uh, they're just you know just. You see a, a, a you see a home eating like gem tags for dinner. You're like, oh, this is a delicious grand fish. I wipe my ass with a thousand pound fish, right? <laughs> basically. Nice. Um, <laughs> they do actually eat. So there's some of the, some of fish that um, that people eat in uh, in other countries, like yeah. tangs. It's crazy, and like you you can buy a, a, a Durasa clam in Japan to eat for like five quid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you buy it to keep over here. They're about 150 quid. It's crazy. Yeah, you got to ship it over there. Remember? Yeah, the clams yeah. probably well, take yeah, up a lot yeah. of room, especially big, gotta... especially ones you can eat. Yeah, this is true. But the uh, but tangs it always makes me sad when you see like um, Achilles tangs being eaten or yellow tangs or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Does it make me sad? I don't really. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't really. Would you eat it. a puppy? Well, I don't eat meat or fish, so I'm probably the wrong person <laughs> to talk to. Okay. So no. <laughs> I I think the first time I saw someone eating an Achilles tang, I was like, oh, that's a shock. But I think if I, if I saw it now, I wouldn't think anything of it. It's it's a fish at the end of the day. It's only because we're weird about it because we we like the hobby. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, so the the uh, the pole is not the last pole isn't going my way. <laughs> oh, oh, so, did you put the last pole up? <laughs> which pictures do you want? And by the way, if you want to see these poles, Ryan, you need to open a YouTube tab, which is like what I've done. Uh, naked ladies with oh, thanks, thanks for telling me last, <laughs> so I've I can actually vote. 
Uh, oh, that's a point. Oh, so I haven't voted anyway. Naked ladies with Alex's head, fifty-five percent. Without forty-five percent, I might start clothing them, like <laughs> have like a bra on next week. Yeah, dressing me up. I don't know. Very weird. I don't um, know. Arowana is delicious, apparently. I thought when I was That's doing this earlier, meal. I was like, "This, this is the best thing that I've ever done." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm hoping that they do not come back next week because they're creeping me out. <laughs> I think it, I actually think you you didn't like them. I think, but no, no, I, it's funny. I, you know, yeah. I did consider. I considered one of me and one of you, and I thought that's that's probably too much. That's really weird. Yeah, do it. <laughs> no, no, I thought I thought people say enough as it is. So you know, yeah. I, okay. I, I said to someone, you know, Reef Dolls getting married, and they went, "What to you?" <laughs> we. <laughs> so. So, uh, that'd be good. Yeah. We'd be yeah. We'd we'd have to double barrel and be prestige reef talk. So that's that's true. That's true. Oh yeah, I've got a plus one to your wedding, haven't I? So I'm going to auction it off. So if anyone wants to yeah, be my plus exactly. one, you let no, me know. This is, this is not allowed. I I do have a veto. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> so. not yeah. But I just won't tell you before. Basically, I want the loudest, most drunk person in the chat. Contact me. We'll uh, we'll get you invited. Is it a secret you're getting married? I don't even know. It's not no, I think I've told I think I mentioned it. Oh. Well, no, it's not a secret, yeah. Well it's cool. Don't be worried, I'll, I'll release uh, the, the location and time of the event soon enough. I should sell tickets, shouldn't I? Yeah, not to me though. Not Ten grand me. each. No, no. <laughs> I am um, um I've also I've done my best man speech already. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Uh. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> true. Um but yeah, so you got you've got people coming in uh, BN3 reefing. You know him, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. But I've noticed uniform. that BN3 reefing always seems to be against me in the chat. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know, all of a sudden he's like, "Oh, pick me." I'm not sure how I, I feel might. about this. Give him your you give him your invite instead of uh, instead of giving it to you. So that's true. Um. That's true. And all, and ladies, remember, look, Alex is he's about to be a tied down man. So you know, if uh, you can just. Put Mindy's face on it if you dare. I wouldn't do that. Oh, that'd be. Oh, that's a good shout. Yeah, I. Do you know what? You've told me something about uh, in the past that I could use. Mm, interesting. Oh, I told you. Well, I said that that looks like that's what Mindy looks like. No, I'll t I'll tell you afterwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. All right. Well, okay. So there we go. So uh, that's the end of the of the uh, of the poll of the polls. I've won amazingly six five. Uh, stole it at the last second but i think if we both had more time if we had more time i would have still chosen the scarlet hawk i think you might yeah. have chosen something else probably what i actually but, was thinking about doing was go it was gonna pick achilles tang for that last category uh, because technically there was no point. rules against it and True, i yeah yeah so I, I did think about doing that and then i thought oh no i'll pick something let's play you know let's play fair let's play fair well You'll regret that now. No, no, Probably. No, no Probably. In play we need play, a little but... trophy. We need a little trophy for these these sesh, these things so That's that we, have, shout, we can have a season. And at the end of the season... Yeah, just have a load of them on the <laughs> shelf. <laughs> so... All right. Well, so I mean, that, that's everything that I wanted to talk about today. Was I mean, there anything else that you wanted to to to? to no, talk I'm just going to go through? cry now. So you know. Well, not... before I stop, though, the, the naked ladies poll is getting close. It's fifty one forty nine. I'm going to leave it to get to 95 votes. We're at 86. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it a chance to uh, to get it. I might. How many people are that. watching out of interest? I, I just because I never see any of that. So. 195. It was 215-ish at the peak, which is about what we, we what we tend to get. Same as usual. Yeah. It's, I, it's, gonna... I don't tell you this because I don't want to like give you make give you a big head, but obviously people come to the Coral Farm quite regularly, and mm. they and a lot of them watch this stream, and they're like. I love this stream. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, someone, said, yeah. someone said something about it being the new Reef Therapy. I never watched Reef Therapy, so I don't I don't actually know what it was like. Um, I did watch Reef. It's totally different. It's totally different from Reef Therapy. But it's um I, I love it. I I I think that um I I, I yeah, I, I think this is brilliant. I really enjoy it. I think it's it's I enjoy watching it back because I get to listen to the things that you say that I've missed yeah, and I get yeah. to catch up on the chat, which I can't catch up on. So I find it I find myself laughing watching yeah. it back and this is me in it so yeah um, yeah sad life you've got really isn't it I know. <laughs> sad <laughs> it life is. but part yeah. of what part, part of the reason i watch it back is to make sure i don't say anything that's wrong or that i need to correct or whatever so yeah but anyway um oh you watch it back on double speed don't you 
No, so I, if it's if it's if I if I think it's a boring one, I watch it back on double speed. But normally, well, you've never watched any of our one back on double speed, then, because none of our ones are boring. Did you know that they're now a podcast? They Did are you now a that? podcast. Yeah, you can Spot- get it on Shopify, yeah. can't you? Is it not Shopify? Spotify. Why is it Spotify? Spotify. There's, do you yeah. know what? So it's on Spotify. I've submitted it to Google. Google will be up soon. And the other the other big one is Apple Podcasts. I don't know if I'm going to do Apple Podcasts because I found out they charge you money to upload podcasts. Why? It's like the, the money is nothing. It's 19 pounds a year. So it's, it's nothing. Yeah, yeah. The software that I use to upload it costs more than that per month. Yeah. But I hate the fact that I, I have to pay Apple 19 pounds to give them my content it's like i, I don't know i just yeah. 90, oh i need i'll get over that give me a couple of weeks i'll get over it but i hate that apple um i hate that apple do that they charge you for it, it me i like off. how hughes just said first time watching the live stream oh this would have been an experience for you <laughs> yeah with the photos <laughs> yeah yeah so why because they are apple exactly oh i just it just i'll do it I'll, i'm sure i'll do it because i'll get over it but just i just it's not, it's not about the money are just... listening to it as a podcast i'm assuming you must have a, a it must I've, have... I've only uploaded one and it was just a tester to make sure it worked but yeah. I, I got like 60 downloads so not a lot but now we're, now we've advertised it and the longer it goes on it'll get more but i don't yeah. i don't know hmm. um, i'm not expecting it to be a big one i think most people uh, people ask for it because they don't want to have youtube playing in their car or on the train or whatever yeah yeah so it's just kind of if you want it in your pocket or whatever so they I, basically I, just I, don't want to see your face <laughs> exactly oh well maybe like that on the on the on the back of yeah. your wall true um we need a reef i've done one reef dork investigates which was a i don't, I don't um, know what that is uh it's it's, it's not really a thing <laughs> it's like brs tv investigates i did uh, one on Hannah, yeah yeah how to yeah. check a reagents but that's it so far um here's an expert on lights we i get so much stick on lights uh, i haven't changed lights for at least three weeks now Maybe even four. So. Oh, three weeks. I think I've had, I've even had, I just keep the same lights for years, even when they like break down. I still, <laughs> still keep Exactly. Them. I'm using, on the new tank, I'm using my Radeon Gen 4s. I think they're on Gen 6 now. I yeah, just kept yeah. my old ones. So my, they, they still work. Why not use them? There's nothing wrong with Gen 4 Radeons. <laughs> yeah. I'm right. sure the current generation are better in inverted commas. Yeah, yeah. But there's nothing wrong with them. <laughs> they still yeah, do just, well. I've kept them all this time and I might as well, might as well use them. So I don't need, I'm not someone who needs the fanciest things to, um, I'm, I'm happy using anything <laughs> that works. You're a simple man. I've yeah. ended it at 95 votes, as I said I would. Yeah. And I am pleased to say 52% said uh, Alex, uh, Naked Ladies without Alex's head. Aww. Oh. It was, it was slightly off-putting for me because I've got you, he, like, on the screen and then i've yeah, got yeah. two other yous both looking yeah. down at me yeah yeah it was also the screen's normally a bit more forward like that i think so yeah it was a bit odd that i was like at this angle but yeah so but there we go all right oh and that ao blades by the way i think i'm going to get an ai, an AI blade for actually this i just realized what the, merch uh... you can have you can get fridge magnets <laughs> <laughs> fridge that's a good one i like that actually <laughs> Um, did you see Polo Reef did a test and Halide came best as they had UVA and UVB? I um, didn't. I saw a bit of fuss on that on YouTube. But, um, did you see what Telegram commented? I, did, I can't remember what he said. I'm so bored of the UV conversation now. I don't, I don't know. Say? I just, did whenever say... Telegram posts anything, I'm just like, one second, let me get my popcorn out. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> he, was, he was suggesting that, that there's, no, um, there's no science behind saying that UV is good, right? I, I, I didn't, to be fair, I didn't really even understand it. I just, all I knew is that he was basically going, you see these people, these YouTubers, they're not, te- there's, there's wrong what they're telling you. Right. But so, I mean, so I think, myself, I, hopefully it doesn't do that to us. <laughs> yeah. I think he was saying that, um, that UVA, there's no, there's no proven benefit of UVA and UVB in a reef tank. Yeah. I think that's what he was saying, which I agree with, but I just, I'm so bored of it until someone comes out and says, Hey, I have proven that UV light benefits corals and it will do much, much better than the existing technology. Until that happens, I, I just don't care. UV light just is not, it doesn't matter. Like I say, the BRS video the other day showed that the, the Coral Plus uh, ATIT5 tubes, the yeah. best light for growing coral in the world, more or less, yeah. um, doesn't have UV. And none of our lights have UV or very, very few of them do. Yeah. So, and we can grow coral like crazy 
Yeah. So what is if if suddenly you do give them UV, is that suddenly going to make them go to show you something you've never seen before? No. Might it get you five percent benefit? Maybe. Probably not. But why? So and but and this is so I thought also about the I did a poll a couple of weeks ago where people lots of people said they do consider UV when they're buying lights, and I yeah, think so maybe. Yeah. It, Maybe it is a marketing thing and they just push. I think that's what Telegram is saying. It's marketing. They yeah. say UV to make you think, oh, it's UV. It's great. I'll buy it. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. Stop talking about UV. Manufacturers, stop making lights that say in their UV. No one cares. True. Well, people do care maybe, but people should. Well, apparently the only person who cares is you because you don't stop talking about it. <laughs> so. I know. I've just gone on a rant <laughs> saying I don't care about it. Anyway, we um, are at the two hour mark. And I am tired. Jimmy's great entertainment. You're tired. All right, we'll 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 wrap it up. Right. Um, well, thank you, Ryan, for coming along. Uh, Congratulations! I concede. Uh, for weirdly, for the first time ever, you have won the best taste in fish category. The first official vote. I'm really I'm chuffed with that. Uh, but thank you guys for watching and for enjoying it as well. Had loads of votes. Uh, really good to good to see and uh, loads of, of comments that I'll catch up on when I uh, when I read it again tomorrow. So thank you guys and uh, we will see you all next week. All right. See you later. Bye guys.